Bar Stool Sports. Bar Titus. Brandon Walker. Mostly Sports. Welcome to Mostly Sports, presented by Jägermeister. I'm Mark Titus. He's Brandon Walker. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. We are live from Chicago, and we want to talk to you about our great friends at Jägermeister. They could have written a totally normal ad here, a really classic ad. They could have talked about their history and the 56 botanicals. It could have been all salesy and cutesy, but they know you don't care. Jägermeister doesn't want to be like all those other brands that buy ads on this show. They just want to say two things. Jägermeister is great. But everybody has been drinking it wrong. How should we be drinking it? They're glad you asked. Ice cold. Zero degrees Fahrenheit to be exact. Ice cold shots of Jägermeister. That's it. That's all they want to tell you. So wherever you're out, if you're hanging with friends or at the bar, maybe you're doing all the sports stuff or just the mostly sports stuff, call the shots. Cheers with Frosty's zero degree Fahrenheit shots of Jägermeister. Damn, that's cold. And remember to check out check out Jägermeister at Jägermeister.com. Drink responsibly. Jägermeister, the core 35% alcohol by volume. Imported. By Mast Jägermeister U.S. White Plains, New York. What do you want to talk about, Brandon? <laughs> What's up, Brandon? <laughs> Welcome back to the show. First of all, uh, good to have you back. Uh, we missed you yesterday. I guess I only have one thing to say. The guts tour. Spill her guts, yeah. You took her to the guts tour. <laughs> yep. First you puck her. And then you take her to the guts tour. Some were saying uh I put the rod in Rodrigo. <laughs> so, not me, that's what some people were saying. You rotted her. Yeah, yeah. You rotted her. At the Guts Show. At the Guts. At the Guts Show, yeah. On the Guts Tour. <laughs> so, in the last three weeks, there's been a pucking, now a rotting at the Guts Show. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Had a great time. Do you have anything to say? I, I mean, Olivia Rodrigo is the best. It was a phenomenal show, and yeah, Caitlin was a great person to have with me for the show. It was awesome. <laughs> There's the picture. <laughs> Where a lot of people brought this up, Connor, and uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask, what's your right hand doing in this picture? Hey, it's uh, right around the the waist. It's not down below. I can assure you that. <laughs> this was this was you know two friends going to see a concert, and uh, it was a lovely time. Yeah. Sounds lovely. It was. And you were saying before Brandon got here, you were telling me uh, that you woke up with a sore neck. Oh. Um, yeah. And but yeah. but you said don't mention it to Brandon. But I I found that curious. That was a curious note. I wasn't sure if that you wanted to. What happened to your neck? <laughs> well, so I I thought the neck originally was because I was like banging my head so much at the concert, rocking out. But it might have been something else. <laughs> Hold on. I know the emphasis on, is on the second part of that punchline. The first part is ridiculous. I was, Imagine I was, if he hurt his neck banging his head at an Olivia Rodrigo concert. There is so much to they talk about. Just put a vagina about. on yourself. <laughs> okay, so obviously, uh, in case you missed it, uh, on the show yesterday, we bought Connor Olivia Rodrigo tickets that he has been desiring for months now. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, the only stipulation that I, I I was the one that put this in because I didn't want you to take Lucas, who apparently is a massive Olivia yeah. Rodrigo fan as well. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do was to have us, you know, drop a ton of money for a, a great gesture, which it was a ton of money, and it was a great gesture. a ton of money, a ton of money, and a totally very necessary, a very just like selfless, mm -hmm. uh, you know, great guy move on our part. Yeah. Um, I would hate to do that just to find out that you're going to a concert with like fucking Nikki Smokes or Lucas or, or any random dude. Any, right. Yeah, as some dude from this company. So the only stipulation I had was I want you to take a woman, which all, was probably a good call based on 
the the crowd there. It seemed like it seemed like the, I'm I'm judging off of your picture in the restroom where nobody was there. <laughs> yeah, no, I I was the. I, and that's not a joke. I was the only person in the men's bathroom, whereas there was a line that was never ending for every single girl's bathroom. Uh, I was just talking to Caitlin before we went live here, um, and I was like, was I crazy or was it all like 10 to maybe like 19-year-old girls? You started at 10? 10? <laughs> Dude, there were, there were some... Dude, you started... The concert that you've been wanting to go to forever, the concert that we bought you tickets for, it was aimed at 10 to 18-year-old girls. I was not expecting that. What there, do you mean you weren't expecting it? I wasn't expecting there to be so many young kids. She has some, not like risque songs, but she has some songs where there's cursing <laughs> and talking about, you know, maybe more vulgar stuff. And they were like, she, their moms were there. It was crazy. But anyway. You know, it's one thing to, to picture him at a concert surrounded by women, like a Taylor Swift show. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to picture him with with my sister beside him, surrounded by 12-year-old girls. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, All right. 20. Well, that's what that's what I was saying. Like the 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 highlight of the night was obviously that you ended up. I told you to pick any woman on planet Earth, and you you take Brandon's sister. That is obviously we should talk about that. Mm -hmm. But I do want to spend some time talking about the scene at this concert. Yeah. The idea that you are wearing an I love a Olivia Rodrigo hat and yeah. the spill her guts tour T shirt. Yeah. Um, you're the only guy there. All of it. I I said I think I said this on the yak that uh. If you said, I badly want to go to this Olivia Rodrigo concert because I jack off to her all the time and I think <laughs> she is the hottest chick on earth, that would be, to me, less creepy than you saying, I want to go to this Olivia Rodrigo concert because I love her music <laughs> and I'm a huge fan of her music, and yet you are, Connor. Yeah. Um, so did this make you rethink things as you looked around the crowd and you're like, there aren't a lot of dudes. Uh, let me ask like you a question. 20,000 people fit in the United Center, right? Let's yeah. say 20,000 people. What's your estimate as to how many of those people last night were, were dudes? Straight? Not on a date either. What? Not, I'm not... sorry, what? Straight or yeah, gay? Yeah. Dudes. Dudes in general. No, you're right. Straight guys. Straight dudes that... Straight dudes. How many straight dudes that weren't... Over 18. That were enjoying themselves, that weren't like their there wives or girlfriends said, you have to come to this concert with me. There was one guy in front of us... Um, <laughs> How many straight guys at that concert last night were the driving force in them being, in there? Them being How there, many yeah. Barstool sports fans were there? Yeah. Oh. How many, how many? Yeah. Yeah, probably like 1% Barstool sports fan. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> that less. Feels, that feels high. Maybe less. That feels very high. Yeah, yeah, yeah very maybe less. It, yeah. I, that's why I, I tweeted out to you, Mark. I was like, I do not belong here. As soon as I – because also we got there, and I was like, okay, I got to get a shirt. First and foremost, so Caitlin was like, "All right, I'm gonna go wait in line for the beers. You wait in line for the merch." So there was a point where I was all by myself, just in the concourse of this place, and there was nothing but like girls with their moms, and then there were some girls who were older, like in their 20s, but mostly it was like all girls decked out in sparkles and shit. And I was like, "Ah, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good." But once we were in the seat, there was the guy in front of me. Like I said, there was a dad next to us who was there with his like daughter. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he was cool, and, and we were just chatting and all. Um, and <laughs> once we were in the context of the concert and we were in our seats, it was fine. But walking around, I was like, yeah, this is – This is this fun. woman's music is aimed at preteen and teen girls. Why do you love it so much? I just love the, the lyrics. I love her passion. <laughs> I, love, uh, I love the craft. I love her vocal ability. And uh, I just think she's next up. I, I think that she is going to be the biggest pop star in the world, and I, I wanted to get on the hype train before anybody you might else. might not be wrong about that. It feels like... Uh, Hate to give the satisfaction. on her way. Asking how you're doing now. Yeah. Oh, you mean... How's the castle built off people you pretend to care about? Mm, damn. Just what you wanted. Look at you, cool guy. You got it. These are the lyrics that you... You, you get to the bridge. I see the, the parties and diamonds sometimes when I close my eyes. Six months of torture you sold to some forbidden paradise. I loved you truly. Got to laugh at the stupidity. Damn. I've made some real big mistakes. Because I've made some real big mistakes. I'm not going on with this. But yeah, that's... I'm, I'm going on with it. <laughs> okay. But you make the worst one look fine. I should have known it was strange. You only come out at night. I used to think I was smart, but you made me look so naive. 
the way you sold me for parts and you sunk Ooh. your teeth into me. Ooh. Oh, bloodsucker, fame fucker, bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. She says fame fucker? Yeah, that's why. Like, and there were little, th- there were girls in the crowd like that's cheering that's this. She, I was like, whoa, that's we that's should that's not. So this, these are the lyrics that have is hooked she, you. Is she punk? She is. Damn. There are a lot of it. That's why I was banging my head because I was Damn. jamming out. There were a bunch of songs that are like heavy rock anthems. Oh, what a mesmerizing, paralyzing, fucked up little thrill. Shit. Can't figure out just how you do it, and God knows I never will. Went for me and not her, because girls your age know better. Yeah. Listen, you you could read and, and pull out any type of sample that you want. When you listen, when you put on the headphones or you're there in person listening to the music, you go into a different world, Brandon. <laughs> I got to ask, or I wouldn't be doing my job. Are you gay? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> listen. I wanted to go to Zach Bryan last week. I just didn't get a chance to go. I would go to other male, like, centric performers, but this is, yeah, one of my favorite artists who's male centric performer. I don't know. I don't know. He said male centric performer. Evo, um, (laughs) recognizing that this is not fair that we spent all this money on him, I have identified a concert we'll be sending you to later this year. Um, So I'm not going to tell you who it is. Okay. But you will be going to a concert. Okay. It might be more gay. Has has Connor told you that? Slightly more gay. Is this the one that he wants to go to? No. He told me he wants to go to another concert yesterday. There's another. There's a second concert has hit the building? <laughs> a second concert. Is it later? Yeah, this month. Oh. No, this one's in like What's July. The other but one now we have to know what this one is. It's, it's Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> it's Bad Bunny. That's the one I would go to. Wait, I think that's, that's somehow like worse. You're not going to know any of the, the lyrics. Yeah, but I get moving when they put Bad Bunny on at the bar. <laughs> I just I just start gyrating and everything. Oh, it's great. <laughs> My hips start moving. Get a couple beers with me, bro. Oh. Yeah, dude, I saw you had a beer. You said on the yak you didn't want to drink. You that was my one beer. That was my one beer, beer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you missed that. On the on the yak, he was breaking it down, Brandon, that uh, he didn't want to drink too much because he wanted to make sure he was locked in for every song. Because the last thing you want to do at a concert is... Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Let loose and... Yeah. And, uh, I had... An unbelievable time. Did you buy that hat last night, or did that hat? I saw. I, I want. I, I want to give a shout out. Actually, two shout outs, if I may. Um, first of all, unrelated to the hat, uh, a member of the family, Noah. It was his birthday yesterday, and I missed it, so I just wanted to say happy birthday to Noah. Secondly, shout out to Hannah and Peyton, who work back at the New York office. They work on Plan Brie. They sent me this last week, and it happened to work in perfect timing because I got to wear it to the concert last night. So thank you. To Hannah and Peyton, they are two very good friends of mine. Thank you. I just had to say that. But the, the the shirt, obviously, I got last night as I was waiting in the merch line for 30 minutes. Now, we have a second story to relate Yeah. based on what we've heard this morning. Yeah. You, were, you went there last night. You bought yourself a $45 T-shirt. Yeah. Correct? There's another dude at this company that <laughs> yeah. asked, tell this, please. Tell this to everybody. Lucas has been in my ear for Lucas the, being Jerry's producer. Yes, Jerry After Dark producer. Uh, Lucas has been in my ear for the past, I don't know, three, four months. He's like, dude, you got to go to the Guts tour. You have to see Olivia Rodrigo because it would be a perfect way to like go with a, a date with an attractive woman, whatever. I was like, okay, like that's not why I would go. But yeah, like I would go and maybe, you know, if it happens that I go with a girl, whatever. Anyway, I told him how I was going last night. He's like, dude, I'm so jealous. Like, who are you going to take? Blah, 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 blah. And then uh, he texted me when I was at the concert as I was waiting in the merch line. And he says, hey, if you could pick me up a shirt, I'll pay whatever. <laughs> and I was like, well, like, what what shirt do you want? Like, what size? He's like, uh, I'll take a purple one and, like, a large. Okay, fine, fine, fine. And uh, I get the shirt for him. And then he's immediately after I get it, he's like, no, 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 actually get a black one. Get a black one. And I'm like, dude, like, I already got the shirt. He's like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I just want to have it so people would think that, like, I went to the concert. That's crazier than <laughs> that's, that's crazier, that's crazier than, than him hanging out yeah. with twelve year olds, yeah. right? Yeah, that's crazier. Yeah, asking uh, somebody who's going to a concert, hey, spend forty five dollars of your own money, get me a t shirt. Yeah, I'll pay you back. He but spend back. it up front, and that way I can people can think I went to the Olivia Rodrigo. Concert. What's crazier, H- hanging out with twelve year old girls, uh, and then not really, yeah, hanging out with twelve year old girls, but then maybe not wanting people to know that or like, you know, whatever, yeah, yeah. or 
not hanging out with the 12-year-old girls, but like proudly wanting to declare to the <laughs> yeah. wanting to wanting to tell everybody, yeah, I was there. I was with all those 12-year-old girls. Did you get recognized by any no. anybody last night? Good. No. Good. That makes me think a lot yeah. high, that makes me think very highly of the family. Yeah, that's great. None of us were there. Yeah. None of the no extended family members were there yeah, except no. my actual family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we had a great time. I Caitlin was the perfect person. To okay. bring to that. You don't have to. Right. And you said you you I, I couldn't help but notice when you were talking earlier, you said that you have talked to Caitlin this morning. Yeah, she's here. About, uh, yeah. And did you guys You guys showed up did you guys very show close up the same in time, time together? Or and you're wearing the same thing outfit. from last I, I was yeah, I was I was waiting for somebody to bring that up. I am actually wearing the same exact outfit that I was wearing last huh. night. Huh. Away game last night? <laughs> what? <laughs> Interesting. Did you all? All I want to know is when you. Well, were, I'll add some. When, when I'll you were done, did you say that's how ball is done? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so I'll add one more. Um, the concert was at the United Center. Yeah. When my sister moved here, she said. She said she was very happy with her place because it's very close to the United Center. Huh. Huh. And you did in the video. Huh. After the concert, you did say. We're going to walk home now. Well, it was more so we're going to walk further away from the building yeah. so we could get into a better spot to order an Uber and then, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't, I'm going to walk home. Yeah, I, I, made, I, made, I made sure that she got home safely. And then, TJ, can you find the uh, screenshot I, I replied <laughs> to Connor um, the, for, from that video tweet? The smile, look at this. <laughs> look at this face. Look at this face. That's that's immediately he said the, he hit the line we're gonna walk home now, and then cuts back to himself. <laughs> that's the Look face that you face. make when when you walk in and Chris Hansen's looking at you. <laughs> well, that was, that. I mean that was a screenshot of me like in the middle of the video. I wasn't posing for that. No, I mean you want to watch the video? Watch the video. Why do you think I grabbed the <laughs> screenshot? Watch this. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo, night one in Chicago, in the books, guts tour. <laughs> it's alive and well. What a performance! What a show! Uh, every single song was a banger. I was laughing. Listen to the I ambient noise. Crying. I was raging, <laughs> fist pumping. Sounds I like a guy like kind of girl school cafeteria. I was just banging my head so much. Uh, what a night! Huge shout out to Mark and Brandon. Uh, totally unnecessary. I don't deserve it, but what a gift! And I love them so very much. I love everybody on Mostly Sports. Love the crew. Can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Also, deluxe album coming from Olivia Rodrigo on Friday. She revealed plugged her own album. That. She revealed I will that. See last you all night. tomorrow, Caitlin. Do you have anything to say? Great show. Thanks, Brennan and Mark. There Look at that. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, right. Oh, no. Right. Mark's right. No, oh, that's no. ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. Crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, right? <laughs> oh, oh, that's crazy. That. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you dog. Uh. <laughs> I hadn't seen that face. <laughs> you, you, did you not see that? That's my bad. Look at that face. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, man. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Cotter. One more thing before we move on about this. Um, you mentioned multiple times that you might have injured your neck from headbanging at the Olivia Rodrigo show. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see an example of how you had bang at the Olivia Rodrigo show. How how deep does the bang go? It it was heavy at a couple points. Um, it was like. Uh, All right, what's her what's her best song? What's her best banging song? Best banging song good is probably uh, "Good for You" or "All American Bitch." All American Bitch. <laughs> now we're so you like banging to "All American Bitch." Yeah. Were you and Caitlin banging together? <laughs> at one point, yeah. yeah. Did you bang all night? Yeah. How many maybe, rounds? May, yeah, maybe. You, know. you, you guys slept for some songs and banged for others. When did you start banging? <laughs> um, probably around like uh, nine o'clock, nine thirty. Ah, damn. Oh, you there's video. Get strapped in. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't have any injury. <laughs> can't have any injury. <laughs> that was when she was going up on the moon. They put her on a moon, Brandon. They they hung her from the sky. <laughs> Not that sounds bad. They did not hang her from the sky, but she was. She Gotta was, get locked in. She was in air on the moon. Um, you know, unbelievable concert. And uh, I, I said I was a man of my word. I said I would not take Caitlyn if it offended you, Brandon. You could go back and watch the tape. 
but you then said, no, I don't care. You already pucked her. You could puck her again, whatever. So I took Caitlin. Uh, my last question, when when, uh, when you got these tickets and word got around the office, um, oh my God, you yeah. were in, in a mental torture chamber all day yesterday. I was, yeah. I was greatly enjoying it because uh, all the women in this office wanted to go with you. You had strangers DMing you. They wanted to go with you. Yep. Um, how do you think that's going to go today with uh, – you know, Madeline, McKenzie, Paige. There there was an uprising in this office against yeah. me. Um, every woman, all six of them, were coming at me, and they were saying, we have a right to go, we should go, blah, 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 blah. But And then, yeah, there were all the strangers. A lot of people who just DM'd me and said, hey, I'm married and pregnant in Louisiana. I, <laughs> I, I can't go, but if I could go, I would. I'm like, well, that doesn't do me that, any favors. Yeah. Um, but anyway... When it came to making the decision, I am incredibly grateful for both of you guys doing this. They were, I imagine, very expensive tickets. Very. Yes. Very. Re remarkably. remarkably. Yes. Uh, yeah, more remarkably than very. I uh, I question his judgment on yes. how expensive yeah. they are. Exactly. Exactly. And there are a lot of people at this company who are way more deserving of a reward like that. And I felt But like most of the people at this company are dudes and wouldn't go not to. that not that same experience but you know it, it was a very nice gift that you guys gave to me and i felt like in order to kind of repay it instead of just being selfish and taking a random person nobody knew about i had to take i had to bang brandon's sister exa exactly 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 i'd hurt my neck banging to give something back to the company if that is sister. giving something back to the company <laughs> and maybe give caitlin something i don't know <laughs> but anyway, when it comes to people today, we'll see how that goes. But Here's the thing. This was this was the, the perfect move. And Caitlin and I had a great time. It's all jokes and everything. My sister is a grown woman. She can go – she can puck whoever she wants to puck. So I'm, I'm glad you guys had a good time. Um, I did go ahead and set up a, a meet and greet when I go to Philadelphia for WrestleMania. <laughs> no, yeah. So uh, when, huh. I'm in, when I'm in Philadelphia huh. a couple of weekends – I do have a lunch scheduled, so huh? Uh, and you can fact check that all you want, buddy. I can you can fact check it. So I don't believe that for a second, huh? <laughs> I don't believe that for a second, huh? Hmm. You no, there's stay tuned. Is that what you're saying, Rudy? Little... There's no way stay tuned. that you would get in yes. contact with her. There's zero chance. Uh, speaking of Connor's mom, Twin Peaks is the <laughs> ultimate sports lodge with wall to wall TVs for every fan. The Twin Peaks Dose Million Bracket Challenge is now open. Fill out your bracket today. TwinPeaksBracketChallenge.com. Every lodge has a winner. There's a $50 gift card for top, bracket, for top bracket at every lodge. And the best bracket overall wins free Twin Peaks for a year. The perfect bracket wins, you guessed it, $2 million. $2 million. Catch scenic views of every game all tournament long at the number one sports bar. Enter the Twin Peaks Dose Million Bracket Challenge today at TwinPeaksBracketChallenge.com. Good ad, Mark. Great ad. <laughs> Pretty good segue. Uh, um, the NCAA tournament starts tomorrow. It started last night, yeah. but uh, the, the less we say about Virginia's performance, the better. Yeah, Virginia made it into the NCAA tournament, and, uh, you know, they said the, the haters said that uh, Virginia didn't belong. They said that Virginia's offense is antiquated. That yeah. that Virginia being in this NCAA tournament is going to pull the instead of the 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 joy of the tournament pulling Virginia up in excitement and making this an exciting game. Yeah. That Virginia's stench uh, and, and approach to the game of basketball is going to pull the NCAA tournament down into to their level. That's what the haters said. Yes, this is what the haters said. They said that uh, the NCAA tournament is is. Uh, you know, tainted by Virginia's inclusion. They said that Virginia not only plays a ridiculously boring brand of basketball, but that actually if you go back and look at their resume, um, there's really nothing to suggest that they are a good basketball team in any way, shape, or form. Uh, they said that th this is going to be a blowout, that Virginia, um, it, it, it wasn't just surprising, it was shocking that they were there and that in due time we would have enough uh, evidence to point to, to as as you know as evidence I guess that that we were correct that Virginia did not belong and as it turns out Brandon they were right they were right about everything the they haters right, the haters were right about every last this was the worst I think all things considered and 14 points at the half man 
I think all things considered, this might be the worst NCAA tournament game of all time. I really think so because <laughs> this was a standalone game. Yeah. This was a team that was on the bubble that got in mm -hmm. um, under circumstances that – I mean, if you go back and watch the Virginia locker room when they found out they were in, they were – Yes, they were excited, but they were more shocked than anything else. They were just like, what the fuck? Because they, they knew. They knew they didn't belong. They scored 14 points at halftime. This was – this also, like, we, we've seen blown out, blowouts in the NCAA tournament before. Yeah. But this is supposed to be a, a, a pretty even matchup. Well, that and the committee – the committee had to – when the committee puts in a bubble team or leaves out a bubble team, they do want to be proven right. They're human beings, Right. Right. So you put that team in, and you leave out St. John's, you leave out Oklahoma, Seton Hall, Oklahoma, Villanova, everybody that was even close to the bubble. You leave out those teams in favor of a Virginia team that not only their resume wasn't great, they just play a visually frustrating and terrible style of basketball. Yeah. So if you're trying to win points in the eyes of of you know casuals or whatever, how can you stand up there and say? They might not have deserved it, but we put them in anyway, or I, I don't know. But the committee needed Virginia to play well. They needed Virginia right. to win. Even if it was ugly, if they win, okay. That was yeah, well, that's what, some of the worst college basketball. It's not just that it's ugly. That's what, like, I don't want to – because Virginia basketball to a lot of people through the years has always been boring, and I have been – I really think there was a stretch where I was the biggest proponent of Tony Bennett basketball. I think when, when Virginia was winning 30 games a year um, and getting one seeds and two seeds in the NCAA tournament, the whole country was like, get these fucking boring yeah. people out of my face. And I was like, no, calm down. They actually are playing a very beautiful brand of basketball. They just play slow, but they're methodical. They yeah. work the ball for a good shot. Uh, similar to like what St. Mary's is this year. Um, but this 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 team is disgusting, just absolutely disgusting. And on top of it, it's not just that it's boring to watch. What sets this team apart is that they are actually bad. They are they are a bad basketball team. Yeah. Th th this isn't like, yeah. And that that was my frustration when they got in. Was like I don't I don't want Virginia fans to to misconstrue what I'm saying. I am not bored by by Bennett ball. I am bored by bad basketball. And this team sucks. This team, yeah. they, they they didn't beat Duke. They did the, the ACC wasn't even very good. They didn't beat the top two teams in the ACC. Every time they played a good team, they lost. Um, I have no idea why they're in the tournament. Here's they, my question: they, If I was doing the if I was doing the seeding, they made the NIT. They would have been like a four seed in my NIT probably. Here's Go my ahead. question: If you're a four or five star difference maker of a prospect, a high school basketball prospect, if you're a top. 150 prospect in the country. Mm -hmm. Why on earth would you want to go play that style of basketball? I don't know. What what would what would be appealing to go play? You're gonna you're gonna guard your ass off, which fine. Every every coach is gonna say you're gonna come guard your ass off at our school, right? You're gonna guard your ass off. We're gonna work the shot clock down to one, and we're gonna we're gonna play in a lot of 42 to 40 games. Why is that? Why would that be? A, what is going on? What what's the Blutman ticker saying? Because you're smiling. <laughs> I'm not looking at the Blutman ticker. It don't says, tell me what the Blutman ticker okay, says. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. I don't know how that would be appealing. And in this day and age, where players can transfer immediately, Virginia style of play depending heavily on your your third, fourth, fifth year guys right. that have got that thing down to a science. Now, if you don't play a guy as a freshman or he doesn't like the style of play, his ass is leaving. So can you even succeed at that style of basketball now? That's a real problem with Virginia is that they, they when they were successful, it was a homegrown, Old guys. It was a homegrown type yeah. thing where you're in the system for a few years. You learn how to play. Uh, their, their, def their defense is unique. Their offense is unique. Um, and you have to learn that shit. And now we live in a transfer portal era where it's harder to get guys to buy in that quickly. Also – I'm starting to notice that, like, maybe this is too. I haven't, I haven't really taken the time to to pay attention. <clears throat> Excuse me, but like, I wonder. I wonder with the transfer portal if Virginia is having problems. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I should. I should do more research. But like, Virginia is a good school, and I wonder how much that deters them because they're having problems with like roster construction. I don't think. I think everyone points to last night as an indictment of Tony Bennett coaching and yeah. saying like that style can't work. The guy just won a national championship five years ago playing pretty similarly. the The difference to me is the roster. His roster was dog shit. Like there's just not a, there's not enough good basketball players. When when you have Kyle Guy and and Ty Jerome and DeAndre Hunter, yeah running this system it's fine it, it wins it, yeah diakite mm -hmm. um when those guys are <laughs> what are you giving yourself a point for you remember I, a guy remember a starter on a national championship he had blonde hair right <laughs> <laughs> uh jj mccarthy 
Dang. Fuck. Tied up. Uh, <laughs> tied up. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, I so I don't I don't think the issue I don't think my takeaway is like Tony Bennett is a dead bitch and doesn't know how to coach basketball anymore. Mine is like he 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 needs good players like every other coach. And yeah. I wonder if Virginia has problems getting good players, and also when they do get good players, can they coach them up into this system when the rosters are so fluid in this day and age? Here's my NCAA tournament topic for you today. It's a question. Um, that question is this. My team's in the tournament. My team was in the tournament last year in the playing game. Didn't didn't make the, the main line tournament, whatever. But my team's in the tournament. Uh, your team is not. That's unusual. Your team's usually in the tournament. We're, we're in a tournament. But the question is this. Is it easier to enjoy the NCAA tournament when your team's not in it? The answer is yes and no, right? Uh, it depends on how you define enjoy. Um, it, you're you're definitely calmer for sure. Calmer. It's it's yeah. more. You can the, take the it all in better. Is, the yeah. ride is smooth and steady. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you want to be on. You want to. You want the peaks and valleys, right? You want to feel. Well, you alive. yeah. You want the you you want to be able to chase the feeling. You, yeah. You want to be able to, but but like. I don't know. Like, let's, my team, Mississippi State, plays Michigan State tomorrow, the very first game. If they lose that game, m my day's ruined. Yeah. So yeah. that that that's gonna suck. But if they win, I'm I'm on high all day. Yeah. And it's just I'm just gonna be in in hog heaven watching the rest of the teams. The the part that I enjoy more when your team's not in it is that you can you can observe and mm -hmm. and give every game equal attention to where yeah. I feel like you probably have very tunnel vision right now that you are locked in on Mich Michigan, Mississippi, Michigan state, Mississippi state. You're also going to be locked in on North Carolina. You're, you're worried about we, if we beat Michigan state, can we beat North Carolina? Right. You're just hyper focused on that. Yeah. Whereas I am like, you know, on the games on Thursday, I'm going to be at the buffet just everywhere eating, eating everything. And you're just kind of like tunnel vision until your team is out. But you'd rather have that. That's, that's what you want. I do. You want to uh, feel. You want to feel. I, I want to feel. Yeah, you're right. And it's just going to be once. I think you really realize it's the NCAA tournament. About an hour and a half into the first game, once you get four games going at once, mm -hmm. once you it kind of staggers, right? We'll be 30 minutes before second team, and then there'll be about 20 minutes, and then they'll go bang bang. But once you get four games going at once, you're you're fucking in it. But that's why last night I think. I'm I'm going on record. You put that on the record, Connor. I think that's the worst NCAA tournament game. Of Can I go on record with something? Go ahead. <laughs> and whatever. The playing games kind of suck. Yeah. When have they there, been good? There there have been good ones. You just we played a good one last year, but it didn't played matter. A good one. First game um, was good. First game was good. Uh, yeah. uh, Double overtime Notre Dame versus Rutgers two years ago. Very good. Well, that's just you remember. We lost. It was one of the worst games I've ever watched in my life. I wanted to die afterwards. But it was – yeah, I remember that. Well, was a good game. That was a good game. Um, Indiana and Wyoming had a pretty decent game a few years ago. UCLA, they had a – And then they went to the Final Four? And when they went First to the Final, Final Four? Four. Um, Two teams have done that. Name the teams. UCLA and VCU. some other team. VCU. Uh, you know what VCU stands for? Virginia Commonwealth University. Okay, just that's it. Richmond. <laughs> Richmond. What was that test? I sure. That was a very easy test. Yeah, that was an easy Richmond, test. Virginia. You know what um, BYU stands for? Brigham Young University. God damn, this guy's good. <laughs> huh. uh, but yeah, this. So this put that on the record. This is the worst NCAA tournament game of all time. This was okay. the first, the first like real game. Sorry to the sixteen seeds, but like let's be yeah. honest, this was the first like actual real game. We're all excited about the NCAA tournament. You have a team on the bubble that gets to prove that they belong. Yeah, and they score fourteen points in the first, half. and we can't turn away, Brandon. That's like your to your point. Like the, it feels like the NCAA tournament when there's four games on at once. We could change the channel to the other game if we get this bullshit. You couldn't change the channel. Whenever TV comes up with a graphic saying something in real time, whenever they say like in real time, Virginia has it scored in over an hour. You're you're in bad shape. That's yeah. That you, was that was brutal. You don't want to hear the term real time by TV standards. They, they'll because they're about to roast you. I had a lot of uh, <laughs> Jersey Jerry says, "Thank God, vagina is ass." <laughs> we would have been in deep trouble. Virginia corrected it. The Bloodman ticker, by the way, said I was laughing at two things. One, he said Virginia opens as a six and a half point underdog to Barstool Chicago, <laughs> but then he it said new news colon. Does he not know what news is? News, <laughs> news. It's in the word. It's in the word. You don't need to put new news. 
Get some old news. Yeah, look, new news. The Virginia men's basketball team opens a six and a half. Yeah. Old it's, news. It's news. <laughs> old, old news. The McRib is back. <laughs> new new is right there. Also, or was that just a joke you were making, or is the McRib back? It, well, it was back uh, back in the day. Oh, old news. New segment. I love the McRib. I, I shouldn't, but I, I do. DraftKings, the thrill and excitement of March Mania is here. And DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbook apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn 5 bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet. Of course, we've got uh, we've got the games tomorrow. We've got games tonight. Yeah, games tonight. Games uh, tonight. Boise, then- Colorado. That should be a good game. Yeah, it should be. I'm gonna say that's that's gonna be a lot better than the Virginia Colorado. So we have uh, we have uh, what 16 games tomorrow. 16 16 games on Friday. It's it's, it's the yeah. best time of year. This is March. North Carolina listeners, don't forget DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Family. Family. <clears throat> New customers can bet five bucks to get one hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Family. The crown is yours. Familia. Family. Uh, I had uh, it's a couple more sports things. Um, so, baseball just started. Yeah. Baseball is the dumbest sport imaginable. <laughs> baseball just, just will start its season. So insane. So, at 5 a.m. in South Korea. Okay, they're growing the game, whatever. What, they just started their season. They just said it's uh, so fucking stupid. Season season started. It's uh, so and I and I've seen people try to argue that like, uh, because it's it, like us in America can't really watch it. I mean, I I turned it on halfway through when I woke up this morning and watched yeah. the the second half of the game. Um, and I've seen people try to argue that like this isn't about Amer- the whole point of this is that America isn't the target audience. Right. Um, you're opening so, our sport. And. And that's 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 exactly the major league baseball. Like, yeah. like, well, this isn't for you anyway, so don't really complain. It's for the Koreans. That's the point. It's I, fucking our national pastime, and we're the very first game of the season is in Korea with no fanfare whatsoever. Like, I don't know. I didn't even realize it was happening until Ebo told me the other day. I don't know the math, but I think the majority of major league baseball fans live in America. I could be wrong. Yeah. Could be wrong. I don't know. I just it opening your season at five a.m. in South Korea is just such a crazy. I'm so sick of. I said so this, quietly. That's the thing. I said this yesterday, and I felt like uh, it was problematic to say. And then I went home and thought about it. And fuck it. I'm 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 just let, I'm I, I believe in it now. Uh-huh. Um, international games in general are bullshit. The international games that aren't exhibitions from American leagues. Yeah. Like okay, so MLB wants baseball to be big around the world. That's fine. That's yeah. awesome. And I, I uh, yeah. you know, of course, you want to grow. Go your make game that money globally. Uh, let them start their own fucking league. <laughs> they have their own fucking league. They have their own fucking league. Like what? You don't see like Manchester United and yeah. and uh, and Chelsea playing in the middle of their season, like coming to Jackson, Florida, game. to like no. fucking. <laughs> You know, they come over here and give us some dickhead exhibition. They give us the dickhead exhibition. Give them the dickhead exhibition. <laughs> Why are we giving away NFL games? Why are we giving away NBA games? Why are we giving away MLB games? It's crazy. And to do it at the start of the season when all of us are jo- like, if you're a baseball fan, you're jonesing for real yeah. baseball for these games to count. And the very start of the season, yeah, is in Korea. Um, Figure out a way to do it like the All Star break. Just have two teams that don't that just say those two teams' players won't be playing the All Star game. They're going to be playing yeah. the Korea game this year, right? That's easy. There, there are a lot of ways to do it, but to open the season at at five a, or I guess it was six a.m. Eastern, mm-hmm. um, crazy. I'll tell you something else I found out today, and and when I tell you this, you're going to wonder: Is Rob Manfred the worst commissioner in sports? <laughs> he might be. That question needs to be he asked be. right now. But I just found out that their Major League Baseball is having their day first day of games. The same day we're having opening day here on Mostly Sports. Which is a savvy – it's a pretty savvy move. I mean, I'm, it's it's horseshit that – it's a cease and desist. Uh, we, we need to send them for sure. Um, very horseshit move, but also – I got to tip my cap and say it is a savvy move. It makes me think it's Rob Manfred, the best commissioner in sports, to have his opening day aligned with ours. I just, like a I just think it's a scumbag move, which makes me wonder if, he, if Rob Manfred is the worst commissioner in sports. Great question. Great question. A few notes from watching uh, from watching Padres Dodgers today. Mm-hmm. I felt like Yuki Matsui um, didn't give the Padres what they needed. Uh, yeah. 
Only pitched two thirds of an inning. Um, his movement was there. His movement was there. There's no question about that. He couldn't locate his. He couldn't locate the strike zone at all. I felt, and uh, I think the Padres were hoping for more out of him. A lot of pitch clock violations from the Padres. Um, yeah, I think we got to get that ironed out. And then my last note was that I didn't see anyone's balls at all. Like I was worried about the jerseys. We were just gonna see. Balls. Oh, they're not a problem. We were just gonna see ball sack. I didn't. I didn't really see any ball sack. So. Um, you know when I was watching when I was watching this morning, I got struck with the fact that the um, the Dodgers scored five runs yeah. and the Padres scored two. Um, and you think the five runs they could have come all you know, they could have come dispersed throughout the game? No, they actually uh, the Dodgers scored one in the fourth and four in the eighth. Yeah, and that really eighth. that yeah. really t- hit me close to home. Well, that's what I, I think that I think the Padres were a little too deep in their bullpen and got a little too uh, yeah. uh, creative with uh, you know going to the bullpen that, that being said that being said <laughs> a little too often <laughs> the dodgers first three in their lineup it's fucking mookie betts shohei otani and freddie freeman that's their one two three i don't i don't want to be prisoner of the moment but i really i really feel like that might be one of the greatest one two threes of all time it's got to be and the, like, what that's ma- fucking insane it makes me think this if they've got such a good one two three Who's waiting in the cleanup position? Who is going to be able to bring those guys? Do they have a big enough bat in the Dodgers lineup? Have the Dodgers tried to look for a, a big Great bat question. to make sure that they've got? I I have heard, I have heard there've been some some recent practices where they're looking for that big bat. <laughs> Defense also an issue. I don't believe it. You get it? That's a horse. Slide it! Slide it! Slide! (laughs) Every time. It hits every time. Uh, The horse. I need him as a playable character in the show. There needs to be some sort of horse playable horse character mod, on the show. Yeah. And yeah. he gets some fucking I can't fingers. I can't lock in on the show. I can't lock in the right difficulty. If I play the show every year, I, I downloaded it yesterday and I, I started playing it last night. Um but I will play the show and either it's way too easy and I get thirty five hits or it's fucking impossible and I get one hit. Mm-hmm. I can't find I can't find the difficulty where I um I have like eight hits and four runs. I cannot find that's that's been a problem I've had with every sports video game ever. It's either like, too I easy or way too hard. I can't go, I can't go eight and four in NCAA football. Mm. It's impossible. It's impossible to go eight and four. That that's weird. You either go undefeated and win every game by forty or in Madden or in NCAA. Hell. I'm perfectly fine winning every single game and just yeah. dominating. In baseball, I kind of do want to be humbled every yeah. now and then. I don't want to go 162 and 0. Yeah, but let me go 148 and 14. But you say that, but then. I will if you lo- if, I'll if start the game play- over, if, yeah. if you're playing the show on a – you're playing a full season and you lose like three in a row, you're like, what the fuck am I doing with my life that I just sit here and – I just got no hit. Yeah. <laughs> I just sat down for two hours and got no hit. Uh, you'd be very frustrated by that. Um, yeah, I the baseball starting is stupid. I don't understand why they would do this. And I, 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 I do understand is they're trying to tap into more markets, mm-hmm. but um, – what a what a wet fart of a way to start your season. Now, Connor, were you able Very to get stupid. up and watch the game today, or were you still banging? I was tuckered out. <laughs> I was not watching any baseball this morning, unfortunately. Aye, aye, aye. Did work, you see this? Don't work yourself into a shoot, brother. That's <laughs> all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> did you see... Um, <laughs> Did you see this Alabama player who transferred to Iowa? I did. Got to Iowa. Caden Proctor, five-star offensive tackle. Just one of the more fascinating stories. But as a high school guy, five-star tackle, he was committed to Iowa forever. Two months before signing day, he decommits, ends up signing with Alabama, starts every game as a freshman. Over the se- over the offseason, transfers back to Iowa, which I guess that's in December. I think he did that. Mm-hmm. Now we here we sit in March. Was huge news, right? Like when he went to Iowa, huge Iowa news. fans huge were like, news. "Holy yeah. shit!" We five star tackle, yeah. uh, and then now we're in March, and he said, uh, "Actually, uh, psych, I'm transferring back to Alabama." To which I say, "I have two different. My brain is going in two different directions. It's like, all right, 
I understand opening up the transfer portal and letting these guys go where they want, but there's got to be some some sort of rules somewhere, right? You can't just it's March. Like he's just he's just bouncing back and forth like a rubber band. And then um, my other part of my brain is like that happened to Iowa fans and fuck them forever. Ha ha ha. That's hilarious. Why? I I was the worst fans in in America. You said that about every fan base. No 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 no. no, no. <laughs> you say how are Iowa fans the worst? Fa- Iowa fans aren't even close. Oh, far and away the worst. They are absolutely terrible people. 2019 Outback Bowl. I said uh, they beat us, and I was whining like a bitch. I was like, I can't believe we lost to the the whitest team in college football. They called me a racist. They called my wife's job, asked her, uh, demanded she be fired for being married to me. Oh. They were absolutely. They got my phone number. Oh, it was. It was. So this is personal. This is very yeah, personal. Is but very they're personal. the worst. They're the worst. But they waved the kids. Yeah, time, So I guess they're okay. I guess that's that's surprising to me. That's the other cool. worst are Oklahoma fans are way up there for being the worst. Um, uh, Clemson fans are pretty bad. Yeah. What, yeah, how I, about I, in your world? Who's the worst? Uh, in in basketball, yeah. Um, I, the, the the loudest on the internet are like Illinois and Arkansas. Illinois, really? Yeah, Illinois. Oh, Arkansas is the dumbest fan base. Arkansas. Um, although this year Arkansas stunk, so and I think they're they came to grips with that. But Illinois fans are uh, Illinois fans are like the weird combination of like extremely confident, but also their team has not made a Sweet Sixteen since two thousand five. But yeah. then. It's it's just like a weird they they have but they but they they're not bad either like they just won the Big Ten tournament they've won the Big Ten in the last yeah few they've years. been good so they have like little moments they can point to is like we're we're fucking awesome and you're jealous mm-hmm. and then the rest of the, it's the they, they're kind of the meme of the uh, the guy at the podium who's popping the champagne and he's in like eighth place you yeah. know that one yeah um that's sort of Illinois so they're like the they're like the wrong because like if 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 Kentucky fans well, although isn't that kind of what Purdue fans are too. A little bit, yeah, but Purdue fans have actually won. The, like, like Purdue fans have won way more than Illinois, but they haven't won anything at the same time. Yeah, but they Purdue like you can make fun of Purdue choking in the tournament all you want. Purdue went to the lead eight five years ago. They went to the Sweet Sixteen a couple years ago. Yes, they lost to a fifteen seed once they got there. Illinois, I'll say it again, the Illinois basketball program has not been to a Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. They have not won two NCAA tournament That's games weird. in the same tournament since two thousand five. It's That's been almost crazy. twenty years. Yeah, and they were this close to winning that national title. Yes. And, and they have, the, and you would have assumed in that moment, oh, they're about to go on a little run. I mean, yeah. they, they lost a lot of guys from that team, but you're like, they're the program. This is a, in a program great spot. Um, whereas Purdue, yes, they are kind of a punchline, but they have had way more success than Illinois. So the, I find those to be the most annoying fan bases. Where like, the fan bases are like, you're a hater because you're jealous of us, and I'm like, I don't even know what I would be jealous <laughs> of, but sure, man. <laughs> um. Virginia is another one of those with a weird stat. Virginia won six games to win the national title in 2019, has not won a tournament game since. Yeah. And they're in the tournament every year. It's not like they, they missed they the miss tournament. They missed one tournament. And they're in the tournament almost every year. Almost every yeah, year. It's not like they've missed two tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the tournament almost every year. Uh, every team gets a break along the way, but that Virginia team got the most breaks of any team in the history of sports, maybe. Outside of uh, Auburn 2013 football, probably. I mean, the – the tip out, the clock not starting on time. Don't Kyle hold guy, on. Now the the clock. I mean, Kyle guy getting fouled. That was a foul. Having to force threes and the double, down the, six. But he said guy getting web. fouled. Like like he didn't say getting a bad foul call. He said Kyle he, guy he getting fouled. Oh, get, but but it, that is a break. Yeah, but they fouled a three point. It just shooter. felt like everything that was like well he a, he would have made the a three swing I mean, luck. That's Kyle guy. I mean Kyle guy is one of the most clutch guys we've ever seen in this sport. They get why fouled and step up. Guy, huh? Then why isn't his name Clutch Guy? Because his because i wasn't his father i would have named him clutch guy um yeah you're right they they it, w- it was god's plan it was god's plan all along that's what uh um that's what i said all year and they they won it but i i hate this idea that now that virginia is unwatchable and the program's falling off a little bit um i can already sense it happening that people are going to say 2019 was a fluke it was not that team was so fucking good they were yeah. so good um but yeah, there's nothing you can really do now. Um, nothing you can do now. No, nope. people are gonna believe what they believe. Um, can we uh, can we hit the off ramp towards silly? We don't have to go all the way to silly yet. Yeah, anything else? Uh, uh, first uh, team. Those games America. last night were kind of garbage. Oh, oh, is this yeah. is this AP the AP name their All American team? Yeah, uh, I believe so. Yeah, AP first team. ED Connect, RJ Davis, Jamal Shed, Tristan. I'm fine with that. They didn't do first names for ED and Connect. 
Well, that's for you guys for reference, and you know who Edie and Connect are. I know who R.J. Davis. Why don't you go ahead? Well, if I just put Davis, you could have been. Tell me the so, first. I know name who Jamal Edie, is. Who? What, what's Edie's first name? And what's Connect's first name? I was trying to do a funny name, but I can't. It's hard to come up with a funny name right on. What would What would the funniest name be put with Edie be? Edie. Eddie Edie. That's not yeah, too probably. funny. Um, Edie Petey. PDED. PDE. PDED. PDED. Dick Connect. Richard Connect. Why would your dick connect to anything? <laughs> I don't know. What would your dick connect to? <laughs> dick body? Connect? Your body like it's supposed to, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> that's not funny. That's simply <laughs> science. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to connect my dick to somebody else's body. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> Um, oh, Ke- oh, oh yeah, McCullough, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta address this. So Kansas, now, Kansas is just broken. Kansas is broken. Yeah, and yeah. and I and the reason I want to address it is Moses picked Kansas to the national championship game. The dog was fed bad information. Um, Kevin McCullough. They is said the he was player. healthy, right? They said, we thought he was going to play. Moses thought he was going to play. I, you know, who I really feel for is my dog. Mm-hmm. This is who I. When I saw this news, I thought Moses is going to be devastated. Have maybe. you told him yet? I haven't. He's he's at my parents' house. They're watching him, and I I don't have the heart to break it to him, and I don't think they do either. Um, so he's gonna poor pup's gonna turn on the tournament, just be watching and be like, what happened? Where's Kevin McCuller? I thought Kevin McCuller was gonna lead the Jayhawks to national champion. If I know Mose like I think I know Mose, he's sticking with the Jayhawks. Yeah, yeah. He he believes in him. He still believes in him. Yeah, but I. He is going to be shocked. That is still funny that we we had your dog pick treats and he came up with North Carolina, Kansas. Kansas, Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Which has that been a final? I know they've both been in finals. That was final four and oh eight. That was. It hasn't been a final though, has it? Who did Carolina beat in seventeen? Uh, seventeen they beat Gonzaga. That's right. They beat Gonzaga. Um, In nine they beat. It was a final in nineteen fifty three. Oh. Wow. Is it 1953? In, in five, they beat Illinois. Nine, they beat Michigan no, State. No, uh, it was 1953, I want to say, that Carolina beat Wilt Chamberlain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's only one guy. And Wilt Chamberlain, Kansas team. And I'll keep You're just going to lane. Was it hmm? uh, Kansas, North Carolina? Was that just two years ago? Why don't you just go ahead and look it up because he's not going. Yeah, it was two years ago. 2022. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so yeah. I knew it was. I was trying to think when Carolina won, and I wasn't thinking when Kansas won. Kansas, like an idiot. I was also I was doing the exact same. I kept looking at North Carolina. Yeah, thinking, was that, the, that was thinking the, of moments when North Carolina beat Kansas in the final. That was the massive comeback where that was after up that was after they beat yeah, Duke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, we're looking for the 1953. No, I'm looking NCAA championship game, um, which should take two seconds. I wish we. It, for some I, reason. I I want to apologize to you because I wish we had two guys on the couch with laptops. But Did I, you feel like just googling 1953 national championship would? No, googling Final Fours is impossible. You Google national. Oh, Indiana beat Kansas. Yeah. Indiana beat Kansas. Googling Final Fours was, in certain uh, years, it just never. It'll take you to the full tournament bracket. It'll yep. take you through. Just show me the who the fucking Final and Four. Every was. year is different too. When was Wilt at Kansas? Uh, he was more like 57, wasn't 56, he? 56, 57, yeah. 58. So what year was it 57, 58? You 58? think what? No, that was like the a famous one, right? Kansas, North Carolina in 57? 1958, Final Four. Again, I'll do it. Do you think Will Chamberlain really fucked 20,000 women? There's no way. No way. Not cha- not a, no way. Not a chance. Of so so we knowing that we agree he couldn't fuck 20,000 women, how many women do you think he fucked that made him say 20,000? I say it's low. I say it's like fifteen hundred. I say he fucked like fifteen hundred women, and he came up with twenty thousand. Surely people have done the math on this. That well, the math is impossible to do twenty thousand. I think impossible. Twenty thousand is impossible. You're talking about two or three a day. Nineteen fifty-seven, North Carolina beat Kansas in the national championship, and Wilt Chamberlain was on that Kansas team. When, and the important question coming out of that game: How many time? How many women did he w- fuck during the game? No. <laughs> Just during the game in the uh, uh, halftime. Two that's day what, for twenty. That's what the hun- that's what the hundred sign is. <laughs> fuck a hundred women. Um, two, what? Two a day for twenty-seven years. Two a day for twenty-seven it. years. Not. You're not keeping up that pace. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, two a day for twenty-seven years. That that's impossible. And he was he trying to say different women? Yeah. Because there's just he wasn't saying twenty thousand times. He was saying twenty thousand women. There's no way for twenty set, dude. No, I could, I could, if I would have started when I was eighteen, doing two a day. 
So when you're 45? You don't have the stamina for that. There's no way. I don't know. A lot of men reach but their unless, sexual peak around 40, the only, 45. The only thing I can think is, like, he has, <laughs> he has like... Some men can't, though. If he has, like, ten women over and he, he's really only banging, like, one or two, but the others are in Counting the room. Counting all ten? Kind of. It's like a big orgy, but he only gets into one or two of them. So... You know, like, and then he counts all ten. Oh, okay. What's your yeah, guess for his? Tally, what's your guess for his actual number? You said fifteen hundred. I said about fifteen hundred. I'm gonna go one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fifteen hundred. TJ, TJ, pull up the answer. Fifteen hundred <laughs> is a is a remarkable amount of women to have sex with, even for for an athlete. I think that's that's a lot of women. Yeah, that would be that feels. But it has to be a big amount for him to, in his mind, think, oh, twenty thousand. Probably twenty thousand. Um. Yeah, like two thousand seems like you could do right. Because if you're doing, yeah, I mean, we did this with Malasek. The oh, yeah. how long if would it take doing, to get to a thousand? If you're doing two hundred different women a year, yeah, which feel, feel that actually is that's that's very plausible that he okay. would have two hundred women a year. Yeah, um, over over ten years, that's two thousand. Ten years of of that's okay. Now know, we're so in like, the we're in the realm that, of that's possibility. In the realm of possibility that yeah. feels that feels very doable. So that's uh, I I think around I think like two to five thousand, but twenty thousand no, absolutely not, absolutely not. Um, what do we um? You have another advertisement to read? I'm gonna. Sneeze. I do. You have a you have a hand. We'll, do, we'll talk about wall. Can we talk about wall? Is it okay if we do that? I I just need myself into a leg cramp. Oh no. <laughs> well, I guess this is growing. You cramp up a lot. I've been uh, cramping up at in during sleep. Yeah, and it'll wake me up. Uh, Need more water. Uh huh. Water. Need more water. Yeah. How much water do you drink? Uh, not enough. I think I drink a lot, but the, the problem is I drink it to like this every time, and then I don't. Mm-hmm. This segment is brought to you by Wall. Cutting your hair at home isn't as hard as you think. Give your first DIY hair, DIY haircut the old college try with help from Wall. Wall is the brand used by professionals and has been in business for over a hundred years. Being confident in your hairstyle is empowering. Guards aren't just for on the court. The Color Pro Cordless Clipper is your styling MVP with an array of easy to see attachment guards, ensuring you can easily score the perfect haircut length. Color Pro Cordless is rechargeable and wireless, which allows you to use the clipper on the go or when it's charging because looking sharp should be a slam dunk. Buy the Wall Cordless Color Pro today. We're doing our bracket. Yep. Um, Bottom half the celebrity region. Oh, we, we got we've okay. some winners such as Troy Palomalu mm-hmm. and uh, Elvis. Elvis. Mm-hmm. Elvis Presley. Who won also, yesterday? Uh, we didn't have it yesterday. Okay, let's have it today. Oh, oh boy. Jason Momoa. Oh boy. And AC Slater. I think this is easy. Uh this is. Oof. So there is precedent towards this type of matchup because we had Palomalu and Timberlake. Right. It's mm-hmm. different, but right. Similar. Curly hair, right uh, by the. Uh, I think it's Momoa in a walk, dude. The Jerry curl though. Yeah. I think the Jerry curl makes it different. I think. I think I think everything else about Slater, you know, normal guy, good looking guy, nice toned muscles, but the the hair doesn't stand out to me. Momoa, I go straight to hair. <sighs> straight yeah. to hair. Well, if yeah. Momoa, if that was a shirtless pick, Momoa, you. I would think be I'd still go that. straight to hair. Really? Yeah. Why are Jerry curls more of a thing? Why why aren't they back? Why why? Okay, what, what do we have to do to <laughs> teach you enough to so let's just pass this on to Lucas. Jerry needs a workout program called Jerry Curls. Jerry Curls. Mm, yeah. He he gets a Jerry Curl and then just does <laughs> the Jerry Curl ten thousand curls curl reps while eating curly fries. Curly fries, yeah. <laughs> Jerry Curls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that's, feel, such, that's such a stupid is, idea that it will. Uh, yeah, they would do that. Just, they would yeah, do that. that will they would do that. Do I have a buggy? I feel like I, could, I do. I think it's uh, just a beard hair. Yeah, I don't, yeah. You, you have you have lighter hair, so it is hard yeah. to tell. But yeah. there's there's hair up there for sure. Uh, uh, I think it's Jason Momoa. I think it's Jason. Momoa. Yeah, it's Momoa. Uh, but I, I I am a fan of the Jerry Curl, and it is, it is one of the hairstyles I've never had in my life that I would like to try at some point. But I have to get like a I pretty try serious. That. I have to get a pretty serious perm, right, to make probably. That happen. We should do curl day. When you when it. you gritty on Mr. Ed, I'd like you to have, to have a Jerry curl. curl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something about something something about a man wearing a Jerry curl, gritting on a 
It just takes it to the next level, you know? Yeah, I'm excited to do that. But you have to do that in 2024. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm okay. going to do it this summer um, after after March Madness. and Yeah, we're going to send you to, to go like, on a little to vacation. Willow, I'm going to come back. And I'm going to come back, and all eyes are on to Mecula, Oklahoma. To Quackula. To Quackula, Oklahoma, and we will gritty on that grave. Uh, I have a couple things. Go ahead. Uh, better obstacle course, Double Dare or American Gladiators? Which one would you like to go do right now? A Double, double Dare obstacle course or American Gladiators? Now, you guys I, were talking before the show about Legends of the Hidden Temple and Guts, correct? Yeah. Yeah. But I am a little too old. I didn't see either of those. We were, we were talking about Guts because, again – Connor took your sister on the guts tour, mm. um, and that that got us talking about guts. Yeah. We now go to Mo for the official rules. Mo, Mo, thanks, Mike. That's a bad Mo. Was Mo hot? What was Mo's accent? Was she, was she hot? British? He's British or it Aussie? Didn't sound British. It Does, sounded, was Mo hot? I think, uh, decide for yourself. Yeah, she is. Well, I don't remember. She wore I, a she was, wore a referee shirt, which took away from her attraction. See, that would add to it to me for sure. All right, like, I, I can see of, where y'all's confusion is coming from. Yeah, the, like she she dressed Mo, a little. Mo. Maybe, maybe she's on. What we got going today? We got the cargo net, then the tight rope the, walk, then into the free fall bag right in here, and then over to the elastic juggle. Look at these things. They're not for I hate the guy. Papers. Michael oh, Malley, how can you hate that guy? Michael Malley, rules. Michael Malley fucking rules, dude. That's the Rick. Mermaid here on guts, Joe. Hi, Joe. But before <laughs> they get to Joe, they got to hear the rules from Mo. Mo. Thank you, Mike O'Sea. Thank you, Mark. Our players will be tiny. Yeah, that's British. Yeah, y'all really asked what accent that was? That couldn't have been more British. Will you shut the fuck up, you're dude? You're right, you're right, you're right. But my question... When I was are, seven years old watching Mo, and I, you, you thought that, like, in rural Indiana, watching a woman talking like that, that I could pinpoint whether she was from Liverpool or, like, South London. I'm from Liverpool. She shut the... She shows some respect to Michael <laughs> I'm the Beatles. Uh, <laughs> um, um, so answer the question, better obstacle course, uh, double dare, or could we watch a double dare obstacle course? Or is that, you think that's bad? Uh, Fuck it. Why not? Uh, this is not going to go well. You know, did you watch double dare? Are you old? I enough? always watch. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll take the physical challenge. Yeah. 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 I like the big booger one. Where they had to pull the flag out of the nose. Dig up in the and then nose. there was the chocolate slide they had to run up, and and that was the if you couldn't get up the slide quickly, you were you were done. Yeah, well, I, I think the I think the double dare one would be way more fun, but the American Gladiators one goes on the highlight reel. If I was yeah. making a mixtape, I'd want yeah. to put that on there. On your mark. What was the one? Was there a show called Finders Keepers? There was. I don't. I don't think I. I never watched it. It was like there's a baseball in this room, and then they tore the room apart. Yeah. Here is the tunnel. Where do you go to find? Sixty seconds or less. We have a fabulous prize, right, Harvey? Mark an unbeatable Palm Springs vacation. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh God. Go. See. Now I get all stressed out. Yeah. If they're not going to make it. They're not going to have time. Now get the flag. Get the flag. Go. Go. Right, go. Go. Okay. go. 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 Right. Go. Go. All right. This is easy. Yeah, go ahead and go. Just get out. That one's easy. That one. That one's easy. All right. Icy try. Should be fine. Now you just don't even have to stand up. Really, it's right there. Okay. This is a good time. Good time. There's the nose. There's the nose. Just There's go. The nose. Go. go. Here. Here's the nose. Don't look. Just grab. Grab everything. Okay. Uh, they're in good. Good shape. Uh oh. This is a lot. Oh, there's a flag right there. Oh, not just taking way too much time. Taking way too much time. Six needs to be a fast one. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is tough. Oh, my God. Oh, good effort. Oh, oh my God, gonna dude. They're not going to make it. Oh. Is there a paint roller one? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Did you get it? They got it. Oh, they got, they got it. it! They got it! They got it! It's too easy. Oh, my God! They got the car, the skateboard, and the telescope. The telescope. The CD player. Moon boot. Palm Springs. Also, did they record this Holy in shit, L.A.? Dude. they record this in L.A.? No, probably in uh, uh, Orlando. Orlando, yeah, 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 Universal Studios. There was uh, a lot of controversy about the filming of that show, I think. Really? Well, How? Why? Kids getting injured, improper. Fuck them studio kids. Can, like, I think like a kid like broke his collarbone on like the first episode they filmed or something. I've read a lot about it. Fuck De them kids. Defunct land on YouTube if you're looking for rabbit holes to go down. I will be doing that. I'll send you some links. 
deep <laughs> later on today. TJ and I, uh, I would say half the conversations we have off air are about not just Nickelodeon game shows, but the specific channel, the the game. It was gas. gas. What does it stand yeah. for? Games, games and, and sports. sports yeah. yeah, they had a channel. Um, I didn't do they know still that. have it? No, it turned into Teen Nick, which I don't know what it is now, but I remember the day it oh, turned. Oh, Connor, I you watched like, it? Oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, when I was in high school, Gas was awesome, and I would yeah. I would just throw it on and watch old episodes of Guts. And like, they had they like, had great like flash games on the Nick website too. They had like a oh, basketball yeah. shooting flash game that was Gas. It was like that. Figure it out. Yep. Double Dare. I don't know why I asked that question. Now that we just watched that, Double Dare, Double Dare, way, Double Dare, way over yeah, American Gladiators. Yeah. 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 You gotta get some guts in your life, dude. You gotta watch. I just I was 15 by the time it came out. Yeah, I just now went, you're yeah. now you're of age and just go Google. Now I'm 44. Just go pull up YouTube and throw them on. Yeah. If you guys were on one of those shows as a kid and you didn't win, would it just like crush your entire childhood? Like for the, for the rest of your childhood, would you just? I'd have to move towns. Like I'd, I'd move. I'd go back. Yeah. To I think if I came up me. short in the obstacle course, I'd be okay. But if I went there and just lost in the preliminary round and didn't get to do the obstacle course, I would. Yeah, I don't know. No, if, if I, I didn't win the going. grand prize, if it was like a, if it was a game that was not luck based, if like the whole, the whole way you get to the obstacle course yeah. is by being a good, like guts work that way, right? Like you, you, you did a bunch of a so, athletic shit, and then you did the aggro crag based on how well you did the athletic. Yeah, shit. yeah, you got like a time boost in the. Air. So if I went on guts and didn't literally win the whole thing. Well, I, imagine, I came back to my school. All my friends would have just worse than that. Me. Imagine going on Legends of the Hidden Temple. There's eight teams at the start, but only four make it to the steps yeah. of knowledge. Like yeah. if you if you didn't even qualify through the first challenge, and then you yeah. just were like the silver snakes or whatever yeah, that yeah. waiting yeah. in like the the water pit, and you didn't even make it to the trivia part, which is easy as fuck. You just listen to the story at the beginning. Yeah, of Olmec, which kids these days, dude, the yeah. attention deficit they have. I don't know if they would be able to handle the steps of knowledge. Kids right. these days don't know how they wouldn't be able to handle the steps <laughs> of knowledge. They wouldn't. Yeah. It was it was like a, it was like the old Big East of trivia games <laughs> right. back then. It was just a little small and Patrick Ewing. Yeah, yeah, dude, it was a fucking god. It was a war zone. It was war zone, dude. Those steps of knowledge. Who were the uh, Lou Barracudas? Who were the bad teams? Who were the joke teams again? On on Legends. Yeah, it was my favorite team, the Purple Parrots. The Purple Parrots. I believe I, I've I've seen like a breakdown of like which teams won. I'm pretty sure they never won an episode of that. They show. sucked always. I think the Blue Barracudas and the Green Monkeys were the best. Yeah, they were always the cool kids. Um, Kirk Fogg in his khaki shorts. Yeah. Now, what were the prizes on there? Because watching this Double Dare when they had eight events yeah. there. And the prize package for those eight events might have totaled like six hundred dollars. It would be the the big grand prize was like Space Camp a lot. Yeah, Space Camp. Yeah, uh, or like, a, and then the little ones would be like moon boots, a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yep, like maybe like a football. Dude, the shrine of the silver monkey, a Walkman. The shrine, the shrine. You got to get some shrine of the silver monkey in your life. That's right? Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, or? dude, it, it is the most frustrating thing you can ever watch. Watching oh. these dipshit eight year olds try to put together the shrine of the, it's three pieces. It's a monkey. <laughs> You you put the 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 base on mm -hmm. the middle on then you put its head on and it unlocks the door and these dipshit kids could not ever figure it out ever. I tell you who had. I want a shrine of the silver monkey in this office. That would be so sick. we could put it together. This is silver monkey right this here. This is the shrine. Yeah, that's of the, the bit. You got to find the pieces. There's three pieces. Yeah. But th they're just the, the pieces are. There's right there. I the see show. the other piece right there. Look how easy this is. So it, many kids lost their run on this. This is the fi the part of the finals of Legends. They didn't get. She didn't get that in. Out no. of time. Out of time. You well, you got to get out of the, the the. Crowd. Oh, also the other thing about the temple is, uh, there are temple guards that just uh, yeah, just kind of. He's trying to put the head in kidnap the kidnap you. Yeah, a temple guard at any point can jump out and steal one of your uh, tokens, and if you don't have enough, you just lose. I tell you who had a good ending to their show. Um, Look at this shit. Look at how. What the fuck are you doing, kid? <laughs> This is turning me into Jake Malisek. <laughs> you dumb kids. And he's trying to put the middle and the bottom. Yeah. Holy shit. How that kid's 43 years old now. Yeah. Yeah. He's in like 1993, probably. This was the most frustrating thing to watch as a kid, dude. I would just scream at the TV, you dumb fucking kids. Where in the world has Carmen San Diego had a good last uh, challenge? Mm. Where it would just be, you'd just be standing on a huge map. They'd call out a city or a state or a country and say, go put your flag there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And some kids just... They, they just broke. Had no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. they just break. Where in the world? I love is it. Farm in San Diego. Go Hit it, Rockapella. I'm gonna go home and watch all this stuff today. There was a, another one where it was like, 
it was like a video game that they were like kind of in. There was like a big screen that they were walking in front of. It was kind yeah. of like a virtual reality video game thing. I, I vaguely remember There that. was one called Fun House, which was very awesome, but it was only on for like a year or two. See if you can pull up uh, the Fun House ops because it was just – it was a big house that you could see through. And you had to run from room to room. Oh yeah, yes, oh, yes. I remember this one. Yeah, yep. And that was when I saw that. I was like, Yeah, I, 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 I have to go do this before I die. Yeah. But it didn't last long. Yeah, 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 yeah. JT something. It was a blonde hair guy. Oh, look at that. That's not a blonde hair guy at all. Is that Chris Farley. <laughs> Matt Farley. We're motivation. Find out why. What was the Stay eggs brooch? Look at Rosie O'Donnell. Oh. There he is, JD. Oh, what yeah, was, what was that? We were doing this. It was the Arsenio thing. Yo, yo, yo. But I've never seen anybody do it low. It's always usually up here. Whoa. Oh, that's it. An actual crab? <laughs> Connor, this you? No. No, no, no. no. Is this why you're next, sir? No, no, no. That looks like you touched. What the fuck is going on? On WTVZ in Norfolk and Portsmouth. Norfolk. Definitely not how you say those two places. Norfolk. Oh, they're on horses. What was this guy's name? JD something. He looks like he's like 23. The show. Oh, look at that. Well, this is Do antennas. He, he was 21 when this came out. Antennas no longer oh, exist, right? Oh, look at that shit right there. That's the one I had. And triple game pack containing three games. Shower room. You want. Come on out here. Hot with games, oh, puzzles, and there you go. You can fly on an airplane. Whoa. <laughs> oh, here you go. All right, so they're just going from room to room. I don't know. Yep. All right, anyway, on your mark. We're going to the fun house. Ready, go. That was a very on quick your ready mark, go. We're going to the fun house. Ready, go. <laughs> that was Terrible too fast. Cadence. All right. There's a. What's what's just trying to figure out here? Got it, got it, good, good. A spiral staircase. Yep. So I think you just go into this house and go shopping. Go, Ethan, go. Go, Ethan. Is there a second person that gets to go in the house? Get ready. High five. Go, Patty. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Really? <laughs> that was gross. That's She's going to the shower? Patty's going to the shower? Ugh. There's $100 right there, Patty. <laughs> Patty. 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 Right, look Patty. up. Patty. I'm not even looking. Come on, Patty. Come on. She's up in the tiny room. Oh, she's in the tiny room. Oh, 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 they got her. Oh, oh. Fucking sprayed stuff on her. Pick that up. There, okay. I thought she was going to go right past it. Why is the dump in the top of the house? Cause this house is fun. Yeah, it's a fun you house. Got the video game. Uh, you got the, she we got do the things ball. differently in this house. We put our trash upstairs. <laughs> we got the infinity gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, like those how was that guy's life going? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not documentary. <laughs> Grab right the right money. Right another one. Another one. This woman. Seconds, okay? High five, She's kind of busy right now. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. He's got pee. I gotta go get the, all the, the shit you left. We do. Oh, just oh, jumps right in. Oh, oh no. I got that. How much left in the house? I think he has to get out with it too. Oh, he's just collecting. Go, go. What the fuck is that? One year concert tickets? All right, you gotta get out. Go, oh, oh, get, get out. Oh uh, no. Not gonna make it. Oh, maybe it's fine. He's gonna make his way down here. They're gonna help him out. I'm gonna tell him where the power prize was. It was the fifty dollar tag on the drawbridge. That's all right. You guys did great. You did a great job. Oh, oh the, so the, the power tag. It was like a grass surprise grand prize. They both get the water park trip. It is extremely what? wet. They're both getting the thirty-five millimeter camera. Uh -huh. They're each getting the AM/FM cassette recorder. Oh, They're yeah, both yeah. getting a year of concert tickets. Oh shit! What does that even mean? For each of them, how much are you gonna have in cash? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Wow. That's like two billion dollars. Two billion dollars. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh man. That was Elon Musk. <laughs> that's how you gotta start. <laughs> Bitcoin game show. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let me tell you about. That was fun. Dave and Buster's is the best place to watch basketball Ooh. this March. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow.
It all gets started. I guess it gets started last night and tonight, but it really gets started tomorrow. On March 21st, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Dave & Buster's will have an all-day $5 happy hour to celebrate the first full day of games at participating locations only. Stop pretending to work. Watch the games at Dave & Buster's. 86% of American employees will spend at least some time at work keeping track of March basketball. So stop pretending to work. Come to Dave & Buster's on March 21st for all-day $5 happy hour and all-day basketball at participating locations. Dave & Buster's. I have a second question written down. Are you all ready for the second question? I simply wrote... New Roadhouse movie? Question mark. Uh, yeah, it's out now. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I gotta Premiered watch it. Last night, Robbie Fox um, second premiere. What Robbie the, Fox what had a big scoop. What, 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 what are the streets saying? Um, I don't. Well, Robbie Fox said it's the best movie ever, but Robbie Fox is not a good, a trustworthy yeah. analyst on this. If Conor McGregor's involved in something, it is the best, the best thing, thing ever. ever yeah. Um, um but. Sorry. He also could be right. It looked pretty badass. The trailer. Well, how do you feel about the old Roadhouse? Oh, it's one of my favorite movies ever. It's it is it the is it the most beloved? I don't want to call it a bad movie. It's not a bad movie. How do I say it? Uh, you wouldn't call it a a great movie. What, what are what are like the critic? What are like those words that like the uh, the highbrow people use? Like kitschy and yeah, campy, 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 is campy. One, yeah. Is that I, the one? The Roadhouse look. This this new Roadhouse looks like a ten ton pile of garbage that I will be force feeding into my yeah. own mouth. I would love to watch this yeah. movie. Yeah, I know I won't like it, but. That's why I That's like a it. good way to Roadhouse uh, the movie is 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 like McDonald's food. Yeah. You know it's you, not yeah. good for you, but it's delicious. Like, you're going to feel like shit afterwards. Yeah. It's I I love the the original Roadhouse so much. I think it's required viewing for there's really a, everybody. There's a lot of titties in Roadhouse. Yeah. Are there going to be a lot of titties in the new one? I hope so. Hey vodka vodka rocks. Is that what he says? People, hey vodka rocks. What do you say we get nipple to nipple? People were <laughs> people were wondering if Jake Gyllenhaal was like tough enough to be be the roadhouse guy patrick swayze was the roadhouse guy he was in dirty dancing and then he was in roadhouse no hang on a second because I, I don't i don't like where you're going with this are you saying patrick swayze wasn't tough i don't think patrick swayze could rip somebody's throat out patrick swayze was in point break dude he surfed the the biggest that was after roadhouse anyone's ever seen that was after roadhouse i was thinking in the moment the when last he time he got the the role for roadhouse when, when roadhouse came out the last time we had seen him I think he had been in a couple of non-big movies, but the last big movie was Dirty Dancing. I think. When when what's Jake Gyllenhaal's badass credentials? Ah, uh, he Southpaw. was just, he thickens up pretty. Southpaw, good. yeah, that was a good one. Jarhead, Jarhead, yeah. Dated Taylor Swift. That's not bad. That'll do it. That's not badass. Um, Donnie I'm, Darko. He was Bubble Boy, right? That's pretty badass. <laughs> just in a bubble. Donnie Darko, yeah, he was he was a weirdo. Oh, also, the, what was I've the one where he's the movie. ambulance chaser? Nightcrawler was yeah, that, is Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah he's he what's well, the one where he prisoners too? He's like smashes the medicine cabinet in all of the compilations of like hardest acting moments of all time. I think that's prisoners. He's a good I, actor, that that guy. Jake yeah, Joe, solid yeah, actor, handsome man. Patrick Swayze also a good actor. Great hair. So yeah, Patrick uh, Swayze on the wall. Uh, one shining bracket thing. Do you have an actor if you see like a movie on, on demand or on TV, you'll automatically turn tune in no matter what? Oh yeah, yeah. Nick Cage. Um, any Nick Cage movie, I will, I will watch. <sighs> Mine's Charlie Sheen. Really? Charlie Sheen was in every movie from eighty five to ninety two, <laughs> and they're all good. There's he's in he's in every good movie in the eighty in the late eighties. Major League, Major League Two, mm -hmm. Young Major League Guns, Back to the Minors. But no, he wasn't uh, in that. Okay. And you know yeah, what? It was right. Good. Charlie Sheen was in a lot of bangers. Uh, he was in Wall Street. Wall Street's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Platoon. He goes Platoon, Wall Street, and then I'm missing something big. Who are the actors now that uh, you'll see anything they're in? Do we do we have those guys in this generation? They're all like, older, I right? Like, uh, like Leo, Denzel? Leo's kind of that way for me, I guess. Yeah. Leo's my number if, one. If Leo's yeah. in a movie, I trust that it's going to be good. I'll miss a Leo movie, though. I didn't see The Revenant. I'll, I'll miss a Leo movie here and there. Revenant rocks. I think part of the issue with that question mark is that people younger are not going to the movies as much. Yeah. And they also, I don't think they care for movies as much because of all the stuff that's going on in TV. Yeah. They just want to sit at home and look at their phones. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. And, this and, generation. And, and fucking... Be on the internet. Fucking be on the internet and... Swipe right. Swipe right, yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't get out there and live life, man, by going no. to movies. No. Yeah. 
Like we used to. Hey, we used to we used to get in our car. Yep. Drive, park in the parking lot. Yep. Walk, pay six dollars in cash, go sit down and watch a movie. That's fucking that's tough. Fucking and that's like that's that's earning it. And the other thing is like that's good for your brain, dude, to get out and be in the world. Like we used to to go sit. We in, used to in drive. Yeah, I used to drive like fifteen minutes and then talk to two or three people and then sit in, in darkness in a in yeah. a room for three hours. And that's so much better for you than just so much sitting better. in your basement all day. What are you guys doing? It's disgusting, I, I'm with you. Yeah, you got to get out there, man. I, I get out there. Whatever. Third question, and this, this is my last question. I'm looking dead at you now, Connor. New Star Wars series? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound I, like uh, excitement. The, the trailer did not blow me it's away. It's all a bunch of kids. It's like an Olivia you know, Rodrigo. Yeah, you're gonna it's, love it. You're gonna love this, Connor. Training a, a new generation of Jedi when there's yeah, a darkness that arises. But, but this is a hundred years before. Yeah, before Phantom Menace, so before Episode One. So they, they decided to take the very the most reviled Star Wars movie and go a hundred years before that and tell the story around that. Well, there is a lot of very cool subject matter before in the timeline, but I don't think. Disney has a great track record with the Star Wars shows. Mm -hmm. This one, the trailer was throwing me off. I, I have no faith that. Now, how do, you, how do you train Jedi? Jedi don't. They're not trained. They're you're either born with it or you're not. Yeah, it's like, it's like <clears throat> the gay gene. It's like, uh, yeah. So, some <laughs> are born with more of uh, an aptitude for the Force, and you can coach them to capitalize on that ability. Well, now Yoda, Yoda put it into Luke, right? Luke didn't have it, uh -huh. and then Yoda like. No. Yeah. He went and saw Yoda, and then he yeah, got that, it. That, that was a little bit of a pause, TJ. Yeah. Did, did Yoda give put it, it into him, brother? Did, did Yoda give it to Luke <laughs> when he when he put it into Luke? Was he really giving it to him? No, 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 no. Well, uh, you know. Fuck the Jedi into you, I will. <laughs> God, that was terrible. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. E that was, I'll work on it. All right. Fuck <laughs> about the bust I am. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're getting there. <laughs> was your Yoda was your Yoda kind of British or at least I don't have Yoda in me I don't got Yoda in the in my bag Montreal man returns from vacation gets a letter from Quebec government saying he's dead asking family to pay parking ticket this is the story after returning home from an extended vacation in Costa Rica Montreal man got the surprise of a lifetime in the mail the Quebec government thinks he's dead in a 14-page letter from the Ministry of Justice, the government wrote that it is hoping to collect money from Nick Last Name's estate for a speeding ticket. The problem is Last Name is very much alive. So, several things here. He is alive. Number two is the government thought he was dead, and they picked that opportunity to go ahead and, and email the family and say, hey, uh, pay up. Yeah. We're gonna need the money for that for that speeding ticket he got. Was that twenty bucks? It's Canadian. Twenty five bucks. Have you ever fought the government like this in the in this way? No, I've never I've never had a um, a fight. Have you ever had a fight like with a corporate entity or anything? I'm in I'm in the fight. I bring it up because like I'm in the fight of my life with uh, Directv. Uh, oh no, I've never had going a fight on. Like it's that. been going on for seven years. They they I seven years. That's yeah. not a fight. That's a that's a war. That's they a, say that I owe them three hundred and ten dollars for unreturned equipment, and I return the equipment, and I have sent them proof many times. And every so often, some debt collector calls me and is like, "You owe us money," and I'm like, "Fuck you." And, and they I, haven't just written that. I've, off? I've I've I like I get it off my credit report for months at a time, and then suddenly it like pops back up somehow, and and it the the money is. They, they, they've, they like, offered to uh, – we can even it out for, like, 100 bucks or something. They've, like, tried to strike a deal. They're like, just give us 100 bucks. We'll call it even. I'm like, yeah. I'll give you this dick bi – I said like that. <laughs> give me this dick, bitch. Um, you say that on the phone? Yeah, on the phone. <laughs> just, and I, I grab my dick, and it doesn't really it, – no. it, it's hard to – You have to FaceTime them next time. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to really have the emphasis shine through when you're on the phone. Um, yeah, have you ever had, like, a – like a, a tax levied against you that's that's not right. I don't mean like you disagree with the tax policy. I mean that like it's, no. it's an erroneous. No, I've never had. I don't it's, think it's an I've erroneous ever had. application of the law, and you're like, "Fuck you! I'm not paying this." Because whenever I've had a law. dispute about paying a bill or a dispute with a company, I'm usually in the wrong. <laughs> yeah, I usually yeah. just didn't pay it. Like my, my bad. I <laughs> that money to you right away. Are you still? You, you held your dick for a while there. I have to pee very badly. Oh, okay. So that's that's why I think I I'm <laughs> just, just I'm just subconsciously yeah I have to pee pretty badly. Um yeah so 
Well, we're almost to the end. As far as I go. Well, after I tell you about cars.com, the leading digital marketplace is cars.com. It connects car shoppers with their perfect car, celebrating 25 years of helping shoppers research, find inventory, finance, and sell cars. Wherever life takes you next, whoever you're looking to be, there's a car for that on cars.com. Maybe you're a truck guy. Maybe you're a sports car guy. Maybe you're a Jeep guy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're an SUV guy. Whatever it is, you find it right there on the digital marketplace, cars.com. They've got up to 50,000 cars added daily to cars.com. You can shop over 2 million cars for 2 million possibilities. Find your next possibility on cars.com. Where to next? Can I get your thoughts on something? Yes, please. The UFC 300 is coming up in April. Sure. Every month for the last 30 years, basically, they've done a, a big show. They're UFC 1 through 300. Sure, yeah. They do a promotional poster, an official poster. That's like the marker of that thing that usually shows some of the fight, the fights on the card or some sort of theming right. around it. They just dropped the UFC 300 official poster. Okay. I want to get your thoughts on it. Give it to me. I think uh, my good, close, personal friend, Dana White, um, <laughs> has done it again. <laughs> uh, I think this is a a great poster. This is getting me jazzed to the tits mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. for some UFC. And, That's uh, just... Um, it's, this to get you fired up. I mean, I'm so fucking fired up 300th right now. 300th event in company yeah. history, a huge milestone. Yeah, I uh, anybody, massive title. Flight, anybody yeah. noticed anything about that flyer? Anybody notice anything? Oh, I know what it is. Anybody notice anything, Ebo? You notice anything about that flyer? What do you notice, Ebo? Uh, it's on pay per view. Mark, it's like the one hundred emoji but changed. TJ, uh, it's beige. Is that beige or gold? Sand. <laughs> I'm going gold on that. What did you notice? Uh, Connor? The date. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, you can end the show, I guess. <laughs> what? It's his birthday. Ah, uh, my birthday. We can have a big UFC 300 party. Huh? You want to come? I mean... <laughs> Why would you notice that was my birthday? Did, would you expect us to know that was your birthday? Connor did. Mm -hmm. Well, Connor, Connor's, Connor's wearing an I Love Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> hat and a, <laughs> and a Spill Her Guts t-shirt, dude. I know when TJ's birthday is. You do? Yeah. Are you going to share with the class? <laughs> yeah. <So> we can <laughs> Go ahead. Say his birthday. Yeah, man. That's your opinion, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shirt, by the way, Brandon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about it. They sent it to me. Yeah, that's awesome. Manasquan won. Oh, uh, actually, I don't know who they is. I, I'm not saying the school sent it to me. Yeah. Somebody sent it to me. Manasquan won. I think Justice I'm, for Manasquan. I think I'm playing NCAA football 03. I think I'm going to play a game. So You got to go pee first? I'm going to go pee, and then I'm going to fire up the PS2, and we'll play. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll get it fired up for you. All right. Secret stream play. or? Yeah, just do a little show. We'll stop the show, and then we can all right. back up. We'll see you after the if music. anyone wants to watch. Uh, all right, that's the show. See you guys. That's how ball is done. Oh, wrong song.
Okay, hold on. All right, we we passed the cat, right? The cat. Okay. Um, see me. Okay. Papa told me. Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't long until I had limping, had him limping with all four feet. Every time Papa saw Sammy laying around in the warm sun with his feet wrapped up in turpentine rags. He would laugh until big tears rolled down his cheeks. Mama had another talk with Papa. She said he was going to have to say something to me because if I caught that cat one more time, it would drive her out of her mind. Papa told me to be a little more careful where I set my traps. Papa, I said, I don't want to catch Sammy, but he's the craziest cat I ever saw. He sees everything I do, and he just has to go sniffing around. Papa looked over at Sammy. He was lying all sprawled out in the sunshine with all four paws bandaged and sticking straight up. His long tail was swishing this way and that. You see, Papa, he's watching me right now, just waiting for me to set my traps. Papa walked off toward the barn. I heard him laughing, fit to kill. So, what is this to? You can plug it in over there. Hold on. You can plug this into the tap. Yeah. There you go. And then there's your mic here. Right in. Okay. Should that have done it? Is that plugged in? Yeah, it's on. It's on. Oh, there it goes. Right. Here we go. Hey, Blutman. Hey, Blutman. Are we on? Are we live? Yeah. What you doing? Disappointed. Disappointed in what? So What about it? We're going to do it. So the NIT, as Titus said. That's all. Okay, well, um, be really pathetic. for Friday morning, we're going to go ahead and eat a candy bar bracket. So You did the sandwich bracket? Or? I'm busy. I'm booked. Did you do the sandwich bracket? No, that's Connor's thing. Connor did the sandwich Remember, bracket. We'll do it tomorrow. Up yeah, with he, 64. Said, he said Connor only did 32 sandwiches. Are you serious? He didn't do yeah, he did the NIT. That's crazy, eh? Here's well, here's my concept for so. for this, by the way. I think it's madness, madness, and I think we do more the most like we do all of these brackets, and then Friday, April fifth, the Friday, the day before the final four semifinals, the we do all of the final fours in real life. We do the final four candy bars in real life. Mm -hmm. We do the final four soups, soups in real life. We do the final four sandwiches in real life. Like whatever, maybe we have four of the f four final fours, and we do all of them in person. I uh, actually, you're right, Ebo. You got the candy bar final uh, bracket. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be a max for what one, a max of one. For uh, one. We're going to need that for Friday. Okay. Yeah. Candy bar, we need candy bar sandwiches, we have soups, and then we need what, one more. Drinks. Ever, yeah, some sort of drink bracket. Okay. Just general drinks. Yeah. We, do, uh, we, do, we can do races. Yeah, no, yeah Indy 500, 100 meter dash. Mongolian? <laughs> So when I started yeah. on this uh, 2003, what you haven't been to Washington State yet? I thought I, I can't remember if I did or not. Yeah, I've seen you. Beat I Washington started. State. Oh really? Yeah. How do I go back? Triangle. Uh oh yeah. Okay, so I started by playing Miami, who's the number one team. I just thought, fuck it, let me just play the number one team, try to climb the biggest mountain. When I beat them, I didn't know where to go next. Oh, that was nine. And where to, where I decided to go next was the number two team. And long story short, I've been. Cereal? I've decided I'm going to try to beat the whole top 25, and I'm on number eight right now. Who is eight? And instead of going 25 to one, I'm going one to 25 because I'm an idiot, with no sense of <laughs> where to go. Dramatic. Uh, what if there's not a number eight? Which, huh? I'm just going to wrap it. Oh, oh there it was. was. Fuck. Princeton's on this. Penn State, game? I No, Oregon. You already played them. I played Whack. with them. I played oh, with them. you're right. You're right. Yeah. That was the yeah. beginning of the nightmare. All right, because just... Joey Harrington's on the cover, and I thought, I I have a belief that they they put their thumb on the scale for the guys on the cover and their teams. Duh. So I thought Oregon would 
would be really good because mm-hmm. the bearings on the cover, but they kind of suck. It finally got too tough for Sammy. He left home. Oh, he came in once in a while, all long and lean looking. But he never was the same friendly cat anymore. He was nervous, and he wouldn't let anyone pet him. He would gobble down his milk and then scoot for the timber. Once I decided to make friends with him because I felt so bad about catching him in my traps. I reached out my hand to rub his back. He swelled up like a sitting hen. His eyeballs got all green, and he growled way down deep. He spat at me and drew back his paw like he was going to knock my head off. I decided I'd better leave him alone. It's just a little music for your story. In no time at all, I cleaned out the rats. Then something bad happened. I caught one of Mama's prize hens. I got one of those young men peach tree switchings over that. Papa told me to go down in the cane breaks back of our fields and trap. This opened up all kinds of new wonders. I caught possums, skunks, rabbits, and squirrels. Papa showed me how to skin my game. Huh? In neat little rows, I'd tack the hides on the smokehouse wall. I'd stand for hours and admire my magnificent trophies. There was only one thing wrong. I didn't have a big coon skin to add to my collection. I couldn't trap old Mr. Ringtail. He was too smart for me. He'd steal the bait from the traps, spring the triggers, and sometimes even turn them over. Once I found a small stick standing upright in one of my traps. I showed it to Papa. He laughed and said the stick must have fallen from a tree. It made no difference what Papa said. I was firmly convinced a smart old coon had deliberately po- poked that stick in my trap. There we go. There we go. Dang. The traps helped my dog warning Internet. considerably, but like a new toy, the newness wore off, and I was right God. back where I started from. God. Only this time it was worse, much worse. God. I had been exposed to the feel of wildlife. Do you have? What's dog? the name of oh, the? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Six. Get in. Oh shit! It's all right. That's Mike Doss. Mike Doss. Mike Doss. Mike Dawson. Back then, homes didn't want me. Now I'm hot. Homes What's the name of me. this book? Oh, this is where the red fern grows. This is, Mike uh, Doss. NCAA 2003. Gotcha. Thank you. Got that guy, so I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. No, do you I have it, guts? Do 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 you have it? These soft ass West Coast boys. They don't know how to play Big Ten football. These hoes ain't ready. Liam, did you watch the, uh, like, Guts or Legends of the Hidden Temple or any of those shows? I think I had watched a few a few Legends of the Hidden Temple back in the day. Um, you, know, you know Brain Surge? That's a newer one? I don't know. Okay. My friend was on it. Ooh. That's why I know it. Recently or no, long ago. That was like in one of those shows. Brain surge, something like that. I, yeah. I know brain surge. So what is that? It was on Nickelodeon. <laughs> I don't know if I know yeah. brain surge. Had two seasons. Uh oh. We're not wrapped up, but we're still alive. We're still. Alive, What's up? You can, you can come in though. Walk in here. You can what? come in. What's your name? I'm Jordan. Hey Jordan. Hey Jordan. He's, he's a, it looks like he's a Michigan State fan. I think he is. Yeah. Do you know about Michigan State's basketball team? They're playing in the yeah, state tournament. Yeah. They shouldn't be in the tournament. They play tomorrow. They play the. Uh... Who's favored in that game? Oh. Are you Are you guys still favored? I don't know. To be honest, last time I looked, it was minus. Four. It's one and a half. Yeah. The ESPN app just says. Oh shit. Thank you. Oh, Hell yeah. Say, can you just say 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 family? Family. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Jordan. Um. That was Jordan. Where are we at? I started pestering Mama again. What? See, he watches every day. We're doing the show right now, and he's not watching. Mm. Lion piece of shit. Do it. We're literally. <laughs> that doesn't even make you sense. You don't recognize. Are we doing that the show, show right now? This no isn't idea. show proper, right? Guts. But so, so he watched this morning, and then the second we went off, he, he decided to come up here. It was safe. Yeah. Guts. Brain surge. Mm-hmm. These kicks. You think I could buy a double dare stage, like a like like a an old props from it, an old prop? That defunct land thing I was telling you about kind of goes into how like Universal Studios, Orlando Studios, Florida, like decomposed over time. I'm, I bet you some of that stuff is findable at like antique sales and yeah. estate sales in Orlando. What do I look like? Do you just want me to spend my weekends going to antique stores? Like I'm some yeah, old fuddy fu- duddy. That would be fucking crazy. Fuddy duddy. Fuddy duddy. I want an aggro crag. Like the trophy that they gave them when they won guts, the glowing one of the, the what did they say? The massive piece this of an awesome rock. This defense is locked in right now. This is Buckeye football. 
We're playing Buckeye football. Who's, who's 97? OH. Um, I, uh. Oh. Nice. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I'm sorry, Liam. Uh, I need you to listen to the book. I was. You haven't been. You haven't read the sentence in three minutes. I'm locked in, waiting. Oh. Oh. Why did you jump? Oh. oh no. Is that a white cornerback? Yeah, uh, why is he so fast? I told you, <laughs> Dustin Fox. Got in the foxhole. I started pestering Mama again. She said, "Oh no, not that again." I thought you'd be satisfied with the traps. No, Billy. I don't want to hear any more about hounds. I knew Mama meant what she said, that stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I might add some words here. There. Spice it up. <laughs> yeah, Director's cut, yeah. <laughs> Spice up where the red fern grows. <laughs> this broke my heart. I decided I'd leave home. Andrew Dice Clay. Hickory dickory <laughs> dock. <laughs> I sneaked out a quart jar of peaches, some cold cornbread, and a few onions and started up the hollow back of our house. I had it all figured out. I'd go away off to some big town, get a hundred dogs, and, oh, and bring them shit. all back with me. I made it all all right. I made it all right until I heard a timber wolf howl. This stopped my home leaving. When the hunting season opened that fall, something happened that was almost more than I could stand. I was lying in bed one night trying to figure out a way I could get some dogs when I heard the deep baying of a coon hound. I got up and opened my window. It came again. The deep voice rang loud and clear in the frosty night. Now and then I could hear the hunter whooping to him. The hound hunted all night. He quit when the roosters started crowing at daybreak. The hunter and the hound weren't the only ones awake that night. I stayed up and listened to them until the last tones of the hound's voice died away in the daylight hours. <laughs> that morning, I was determined to have some hounds. We're 16 pages in. Get the dogs already, man. What the dog do? Get your fucking oh, hillbilly ass up and go get some fucking dogs. What the dog do? You ever seen What the Dog Doing, Brandon? No. I'll pull it up. I went again to Mama. This time, I tried bribery. I told her if she'd get me a hunting dog, I'd save the money I earned from my furs and buy that whore a new dress and a box full of pretty hats. <laughs> 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 that time I saw tears in her eyes. It made me feel all empty inside and I cried a little. By the time she was through kissing me and talking to me, I was sure I didn't need any dogs at all. I couldn't stand to see Mama cry. The next night I heard the hound again. I tried to cover my head with a pillow to shut out the sound, like I did when Daddy was plowing my mom. <laughs> oh, no. It was no use. His voice seemed to bore its way through the pillow and ring in my ears. We got a block. There's no blocking going the dog on. It's not Buckeye football. It was no use. His voice seemed to bore its way through the pillow and ring in my ears. I had to get up and again go to the window. I'm sure if that coon hunter had known he was slowly killing a 10-year-old boy, he would have put a muzzle on his hound. Sleep was out of the question. Even on nights when I couldn't hear the hound, I couldn't sleep. I was afraid if I did, he would come and I would miss hearing him. By the time hunting season was over, I was a nervous wreck. My eyes were red and bloodshot. I had lost weight and was as thin as a bean pole. This kid's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Mama checked me over. She looked at my tongue and turned back one of my eyelids. Ooh. If I didn't know better, she said, I'd swear you weren't sleeping well, are you? Why, Mama, I said. I go to bed, don't I? What does a boy go to bed for if it isn't to sleep? To take a nap. That's sleeping. Yeah, but I you could then first sleep as overnight or whatever, and the nap is just quick nap, ten minutes. You can take hey, a ten minute nap? Hey, let me go I can't nap. Yeah, he's oh, right there. What the dog doing? What's this? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. What the dog doing? Yeah, I've seen that. Um, by the little wrinkles that bunched up on her forehead, I could tell that Mama wasn't satisfied. Papa came in during one of these inspections. Mama told him she was worried about my health. Oh, he said, there's nothing wrong with him. It's just because he's been cooped up all winter. A boy needs sunshine and exercise. He's almost 11 now, and I'm going to let him help me in the fields this summer. That'll put the muscles back on him. I thought this was wonderful. I'd finally grow up to be a man. I was going to help Papa with the farm. Oh, you forced a punt. What's the dog doing? Yeah, I run the same. 
I found a defensive play that I like, and I just run the same one every time. You're going to fumble. Ah. Oh. Yeah, and uh, they're starting to figure it out. The algorithm is figuring yeah. it out. You have uh, minus four yards. Does anybody in Offense chat watch uh, Deal or No Deal Island? Deal or what? Deal or No Deal Island. Is that what it's called? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. I want to watch that. guy with breakaway speed. It's pretty solid. It is? I know. My running it's back. better than I expected. There's like a bazillion dollar prize or something? The, um, yeah, the to... final prize adds up. Uh, from oh. what they collected in the Deal or Aggressive No Deal jackpot. games. Aggressive jackpot? Yeah. I love Deal or No Deal. You want to, to, yeah. not, not to meet Roger, bro. Antonio Holmes. No, I liked it, uh -oh. too. See, I used good. to lock that, in to that, watch That's Deal bad. What the fuck? I didn't that's, even do anything. That's bad. I never got to see it in person, but I liked it. That wasn't even my fault. I suck at this game, and sometimes you know who the I banker was? Receptions, but This game will fuck you. But I didn't, I didn't say, hey, man, snap the ball too high and get sacked and fumble it. I didn't push that button. To my knowledge, there's no such button. There's a button. That would be a weird thing to put on the controller. There's always if a button. You push this button, you will snap it too high, get sacked, and fumble. Guts! Book time. Do you have it? Guts! Fuck you, dude. About to bust, I am. <laughs> About to bust. Book didn't say that. Huh? Do a Yoda Book impression. Didn't say that. Uh, Yoda impression in your bag? No, I'm not. I don't watch Star Wars. I watch six. I, I'm gonna have to interview Blutman for a second. What do you watch? I mean, I watch things. I just watch don't ball. watch a lot of things. Watch ball. Watch ball. Yeah. Watch. Uh, I don't know if you saw this. My God. The Virginia Cavaliers men's basketball team played last night. Did they? They attempted to play I, last night. I like how he just started that. But I, I don't know if you saw this. If you could summarize. <laughs> Virginia basketball with a sound. What would that sound be? I got it. We don't have our headphones. <laughs> I heard it though. Um. What? What? A clank. Clank. Yeah. Oh, I got one. Hold on. Would it be something like this? <laughs> Whoa! He's offside. Fuck. Something like that. I didn't hear that. I run the same defensive play every single time. Do that again? Yeah, yeah, whatever that was. The thwomp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of Twin Peaks. Uh, uh, I watched... Um, I watched, um... I don't know how that would, I don't know how that would make it happen, but... She's on Twitter, I think. This is the issue. When people ask, like, my favorite things and stuff, I forget them, and then my dad, mom, brother, <laughs> tweeters have to tell me what I like. Your dad, mom, brother, tweeters in that order? No, just no order, but they tweet me what I do like and why I didn't reference that. Her mother, brother, grandmother hit me in that order. Yeah, yeah like... said uh, Connor and, and Caitlin are the new Cory and Topanga. Did he say that? Yeah. yeah. Last night. So that's the Barstool version of Cory and Topanga. Mm, interesting. So if I ever have a question, what uh, instead of asking you what your favorite TV show, I should just text your dad and ask him what your favorite TV yeah, show is? Yeah, after uh, Rico and Marty... After Rico and Marty interrogated me on the the gambling cave stream the other night, go go. Oh, you were slow there. My guy slow. You dude. angled back into him. Hit the sideline, man. That was like seventy three speed. That was terrible. My guy's slow. That's like your fullback. I don't right? get any credit for pulling that out of the end zone. That was six yards deep, and I I took it out. And now I'm gonna hit him with the ISO, but I'm putting my tight. It's not. We have no tight end. We, just, the, we have a slot. It's a different so ISO. Different formation, see? we got the wide receiver out here. Uh, so spread them out. Spread them out a little bit just so we can run it down their throat. Well, I, mean, I got a question. Yeah. What's your uh, – what was your Barstool fandom origins? Uh, I don't really know. I kind of like – kind of watch some stuff here and there. I really like the um, – I liked, like, the old Big Cat videos and stuff when you, like, go to the Chicago Sky Games. I thought those were funny. Go way back in the day. Yeah, but then I really wasn't locked in or, like, keeping up with it much, aside from, like, people tweeting. Yeah. And then Lukey watched um, 
the yak and the new untold story like every day so then i would start watching with him a little so you you came back or, i guess yeah well, i was i would only like it. watch the oh, big that's, things that's cuz like i i don't watch like, i think this game has right. decided you're not winning yeah so i would watch like every now and then these survive games would just say dangerous nope. game show etc not today whatever. motherfucker okay. i'm going back to X. by the way l was open last time too but i don't want you to force it to l i'm just saying give him a look Nope, it's X. it's X. It was always X. It was always you. I bet you'll you'll probably call that play again soon, won't you? Yeah, but you know what I'm gonna do before that? I'm well, high back ISO mixtape. Mix yeah, you would have liked mixtape, although only to the right though. We don't run left. How much of an NBA guy are you? Gotta run it right. I don't like the association. Right, you know, you Blumman doesn't watch the association. Let's go, bro, go, go, go. Mixtape was less of a basketball pod, more of a. They talk basketball, but you could just listen to it. Mostly them. hoops. My favorite old podcast at Barcelona is Young and Happy. I'm wearing my Young and Happy t-shirt today. Ron and Caleb and Buddha Ben. Mm. Go. First down. I'm watching a show right now, Brandon. Shogun. I'm watching Shogun. Yeah. Did you watch last night? No, I uh, I had to do Jerry after <laughs> I had to do Jerry after dark and uh and the NCAA tournament stuff. But what? you watched the other episodes? Uh yeah, I after I was on oh, yeah. the bracket and said I haven't watched Sopranos. Crazy. I mean, Ken Jack right your offensive me line from just cheat. watching anything, but then I DM'd them like a, a week before Shogun came out and asked him if I could watch, and it's he gave really me good. a pass. Yeah, so last night's used. episode was cool. Ball on the thirty. I'm surprised it's I'm as popular as it is already. Well, there's only gonna be ten episodes. I run the play that no oh, it's just one right. season thing. I get. That's what there's only one. It's are. a book, and they're like halfway through the book already. I'm gonna go oh, mistake. Book? What the? Yeah. Hey, Spider. Well, that's kind of deflating, hey. even though it's only ten. Yeah. So it's gonna, unless they went to like other. We're still live, Spider. Yeah, I don't know. There's yeah, no, but nonetheless, no I am surprised it was that popular off 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 rip. It was like one episode. Two episodes in, and people are like, this is the best show of all time. Or of right now. Oh, I watched Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, t twice, Brandon. You watched all of Game of Thrones? Yeah. I only I, watched the last season. I, oh. Wow. I know. I wa you watched the last season? Yeah. I never watched it while it was on. And then the last season was on when I was a senior in college, and my apartment, like, hosted watch parties for it. So, like, 15 people would come over every Sunday night to watch it. So I watched the last season. I uh, got the ending spoiled to me uh, through Amina Kimes tweet. What? Yeah. She ramly tweeted about who becomes king the day I was getting set to watch the like final two, three episodes. Damn. So that was really fun. RIP my dog, Tony Stark. I don't even follow her. It's just on the For You page or whatever. I don't. Do you use the Twitter for you page, or do you use the Twitter following more? Uh, I need to use the Twitter following more. You need to? Like, yeah, for the, what you do? No, just, like, I personally need to use that more because all I'm seeing is non-aesthetic things, tweets, or whatever. Yeah. It, it, what? This history and videos or whatever, who tweets, like, impractical jokers clips. Right. Yeah, I liked it. The, the people so I put it in the end zone. You're chewing Balls more clock. You're line. chewing more clock. QB dive. Tush push him. Do they have tush push in there? Yeah, motion the running back up. Yeah. Go. Oh. Flea flicker. Flea flicker. Do they have flea flicker in this? Oh, you got to snap the ball. <laughs> I couldn't snap it because my running back was in motion. And it was yeah, well, you should have legal forward motion. No, no, no. You got, yeah. That's no, one of the. Uh, I mean, uh, I had the ball on the fucking goal line. Liam, you gotta put the ball in the, the end zone there. What the hell? <laughs> that was inept. It was Please on the line. Getting away from the football game. Sorry, Brian. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. It's all gone downhill since Bran stopped reading. Are we getting a mostly WrestleMania stream? Well, Brennan, will, I think he's going to be there, and Mark and I are going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona, or Cleveland, <laughs> Ohio. Yeah, I help you waste more time. You're welcome. Probably not. Clock management. My, I got my offensive coordinator sabotaging me right now. You like my bracket up there? <laughs> yeah, it is up there. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. 
I thought this was. Oh, this is Moses's over here. That's yours up there. You want to put Moses's up there? Or we should hang that somewhere. Did you see the PMT guys got gigantic ones printed out? Yeah, that's well, awesome. Where do we get those? I don't know. We should have just had that for the office. I actually need to look at what that says. We can use this, I guess, as uh, as ours. Yeah. No. Yeah, Moses is his catalog. To, I have it. That bracket it says. That bracket says UVA, but I was clearly rolling with the Rams. You've always been a Ram. Ramley. Ramley. <laughs> Do you think the hard? I watched House of the Dragon, movie? Brandon. Yeah, I hope not. I, what does that mean? He doesn't know House of the Dragon. Dragging these nuts in his face. But I'm. Sh <laughs> no, it's in. That's in the Game of Thrones world. What are you f stressed about, Brandon? Where are my steak bits? Where's my steak bits? What? She made me steak. Where's my steak? I got steak bits. Brandon's hollering. Did right you put now. it in like a fridge somewhere, and no, then somebody it moved it? Goddamn fridge. Okay, dude. Don't <laughs> yell at me. Don't holler at me. Where are my steak bits? What is bro waffling about? Where does Sly Cooper rank on my PS2 games Ooh. list? I only ever played one of them. I would use one of the Sly Cooper guys as my uh, PSN profile picture all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's a good PSN profile. Crash I would use the Bandicoot turtle guy. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex was my so first hard. Crash Bandicoot. Was Crash Bandicoot overrated? No, it was so it's so hard. It's underrated. The first, like, five games are good. Crash Team Racing is a pretty but good they, racing they game. They tried to make Crash like Mario. Yeah, but then they unexclusive to him. Like, mm. they, like, sold his exclusivity to, I think, like, he wasn't... Good and goddamn well, I grabbed that steak this morning. I don't. Why are you hollering at me? Oh, goddamn it! Where are my steak bits? <laughs> <laughs> damn it! God damn it! I use the uh, the ape escape monkey as my PSN profile picture. Which one was that? Oh, nice play, dude. What an idiot. What an idiot. That's the worst. The worst play we've seen all half. You might as well just slide at that point. All right, 14-14 at halftime. I'm getting the ball. Um, this is the Ape Escape monkey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ape Escape rocks. I don't it's think I ever played that. Underrated franchise. I love Ape Escape. I don't, I don't, right. I don't think I ever played that. There we go. The second one is so much fun. You have to defeat the, uh, what are they, they're called like the Fabulous Monkey Five or something like that. The Yellow Monkey is the big fat guy. You have, it's kind of like Bowser in Super Mario 64. You have to wait for him to run by you, and then you punch him in the ass. Dang the I Blue Monkey, he's like really fast. He's on Damn. a unicycle. Ooh. You have to run away from him with the hula hoop. Ouchie. The Pink Monkey is like a K-pop superstar. You have to like dodge her attacks, <laughs> and then she does like a big yell thing. I'm the easiest offense in the world the red know. monkey's like a big macho guy if i'm an i formation i'm ape escape on psp was life yeah. go go ape escape out of bounds is that what those called uh george from new mexico what? called in to talk to rico on what 76 yard touchdown pick pass. central I said a 76-yard touchdown pass, Liam. I don't know if you heard Remember that. Odd World? Odd World. Is I heard that, Titus, but something else was happening. A lot's happening, actually. Banjo greater than Crash? No. Banjo-Kazooie? That, was that the game? I never played And then Banjo-Tooie. What's the second one? You got a lead, and I want you to hold on to this lead for a little while. All right, we're going to stop and then a score. And then a stop and a love score. Love that. Love that. What an opening drive. Oh, my God. No, what? No. Dude. No. Dude. Oh. The heck, man? I run the nickel inside blitz every single time. Now, if they were paying attention, Joey. they would pick up on the fact that I run the same play. Whoa, Joey Ellis. I don't think anybody's ever brought up the game I Ninja to me. That game is good. <laughs> I liked weird PS2 games, though, admittedly. There's this game on PS2 called My Street. 
where you played as like a probably like a second grader that you got to create a character as and the plot of the game was that you moved to a new town at the end of the school year or the beginning of summer and you had the duration of summer to make everybody in on your street th like like you and become friends with you My and God. then defeat the bully at the end of the summer so that when you went back to school you would be like king of the town i think i know what you're talking about but the game was really hard because there was like you only have the duration of summer, and it's like there's a game time where you can't do challenges and stuff once the sun goes down because you have to go back home. So you had a certain amount of days to do, like, the first challenge. You found a steak. Or else you wouldn't be able to, like, time out the summer properly. The refrigerator? It was, like, actually a hard game. You had to go to, like, the beach volleyball guy and beat him. Beach volleyball. Like a marbles game that you had to play. There was like a Dr. Mario Tetris style game you had to what play. What was it called again? My Street. There was a like you a, know a, the a farming girl that you had to put like pigs in pig styes. There was a lawnmower racing game, mini game in it. That sounds fun. And then the finals of it was no. dodgeball against the bully. And it's hard as fuck. I don't think anybody else ever played that game. It's called My Street. I PS3. feel like I've heard about it before, but yeah. No, it's good. It. That might be something... Peggle was goaded. True. Paul Peggle Brandon. mentioned. Holy. Oh, or shit. Mentioned what? 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 I've never played Siege, but I know Jinxie. Seems like nobody knows oh, My now. Street. This is my Street rocked. I might try and beat that. If my dad's watching this. Can you mail me My Street? I think it's I'm in the basement somewhere. Ever go 25 and 0 in a season? I am the most versatile offense you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I You'll know. run the fullback to both. <laughs> uh oh! Look at wow, this. that's Holy not shit. that's Holy not shit. that's that. Wait, that's what? <laughs> that that might have been glitching the system. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that might have been a glitch in the system. Look at this! Look at this! Listen, if other teams wrap up, you gotta wrap up. up. First of all, finish. oh, whoa! What is that? Mr. Mosquito, pervert game. <laughs> if other teams had the balls to give the ball to their fullback, they would. That Probably. might happen, yeah. yeah. What was the name of the game no, you had to buy a camera to play? It was called I Play. What was the name of the camera? That's big. Um, One game I want for this PlayStation 2 is uh, NHL Hits. Yeah. That is so fucking I fun. just like all the cheeser sports games better than all of the traditional ones. Like, I don't like the cheeser sports games usually, but I like that one. Slugfest. I don't like Slugfest. Yeah, street. I like street alike. After Slugfest, there was the Bigs. And I like the Bigs. Too. Those games were fun as yeah, fuck. Those were fun. Blitz, Blitz yeah. Hits, street, anything Lake, Lake EA Sports the big published. Mr. Mosquito was a game where you played as a first-person mosquito <laughs> and you had to suck the blood out of people. And there I've was heard of that, yeah. Where you got to go into a girl showering and it was on the demo disc and I would just play that over and over again. <laughs> Remember demo discs? No. Oh, yeah. This generation will never know the joy never of demo discs. Dude, getting a PlayStation magazine in the mail every month was the best fucking day of the month. You got five new games for free. Yeah. Really? They yeah. showed up at your door. You got to play the first I'm level playing, of five I'm games. Playing. Jet Moto? Yeah, Jet, Jet Moto. Set Radio. I played 1080. The, uh, Avalanche 1080. Yeah, I played that game. Just the demo. We didn't, yeah. We, my parents wouldn't buy it for me, but... There would be that, and then there would be, like, trailers, and then they would also sometimes give you, like, a cheat code tutorial. <laughs> Where it would be like a guy being like, on Tony Skate, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, enter this for oh, unlimited grind. Defense is defense. Remember the game Rampage? I yes. liked that game. The, where you had to, where you Godzilla and King Kong, mm -hmm. you had to break the buildings down. They made a movie like, about that they, game. They have a yeah, he did, yeah. I don't think, in fact, I'm gonna, I think Whimsy might be extinct. Is Whimsy extinct? Whimsical. Being whimsical in nature. Remember Frolicking? Oh yes! Go that way. What? I was you have no moves at all. No, dude. There's no wiggle to you at all. No, you're running straight. I'm like a, I'm like a fucking cruise ship trying to turn <laughs> in the ocean. That was a cornerback. Yeah, dude. I can't. Programming note: No yak and no, no yak tomorrow or Friday. But there will be this, this show tomorrow and Friday. Oh God! How do you? There's the button you hit that you can just take off running as a quarterback. I don't remember. What I don't remember what the button is. Ask the chat that, TJ. I need help. How's your steak? What's up, guys? Good. Hey, PFT. Thank you very much. I, uh, I watched Atlanta, Brandon. Yeah, good stuff. 
Hey What's PFD. Up, PFD. You guys are taping anything, right? Yeah, we're, we're still live. We're live, but we're not really. We're yeah. not really. It's our after show live party. Can I, can I sit down? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. Good yeah. question for this one. Okay. Just. Yeah. Cool. I don't want to interrupt. Anything. Just You're use the language you would use if you were on camera. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't say the slurs you usually yeah, you say. Know me. Yeah. Off air. Hey, Blutman. You didn't need to put your headphones on. <laughs> I'm a pro, Blutman. No, no, let's do. have him on. TJ's you, not playing any sounds. I don't know how you guys do things on this side of the tracks, but uh, I I have a bone to pick with Blutman. Mm. His soup racket sucks. Mm. Oh, it did. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. It kind of did. You had like 30 Asian soups. You knew this was gonna happen. Uh, yeah. After after viewing the tape, what's the soup that you like? Well, the pho. There wasn't like a lot of soups. There no, wasn't. What's the main soup? The, the was, main soup I like. No, the soup you liked last year that you like discovered. Oh, Avga Lomano? There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm... I... What? I, uh, <laughs> well, I didn't that's, know. That is a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> okay. What the heck? All right, so my problem with his soup racket was he didn't know what two-thirds of the soups were. <laughs> exactly. You don't know anything. That was my problem with being assigned the soup. But shouldn't you use that as a, as a learning opportunity? We had a learning opportunity, then I forgot everything, and then you brought up Joe Runardi, and I brought up John Brostein, and we had a good time about that, and that, saved the, bra- that saved the bracket. The bracket, the bracket itself sucked. The PowerPoint was fantastic. Thank However, you. Good. Thank you. Right mm-hmm. what, uh, what kind of win we got out like, there we, we could talk about the soup bracket all we want. Connor Griffin got assigned a sandwich bracket two days ago. Oh, did he? Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen some of the pictures. Well, uh, I had to no, go on that, days that so he, isn't out. He didn't have to do it. I thought that was pretty cool. He's too busy going to like teenage concerts Connor, instead of doing the. What's this I hear about sandwiches. you? Sandwiches. Thirty-two sandwich bracket. He's been busy. <laughs> what's what's this I hear about you making a thirty-two sandwich bracket? I told Blutman. Oh my God. Oh, was that way too loud? <laughs> Sorry. This is why you guys need to wear the headphones. This yeah. is an unprofessional operation. I, I'm eating steak and he's playing. I told Blutman that I wasn't done with the sandwich bracket. Or, or yeah, was it no, Monday no, or no, Tuesday? No. You told me you have twenty. You told me you have twenty nine of the thirty two sandwiches. And yeah. I and then you. I <laughs> no. So I told him that on. <laughs> I told him that on Monday. I felt lost. I gotta see. I gotta see Blutman lose it. <laughs> and and, and you, you ran in here and snitched. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. He told, I told him that on Monday. I was like, I'm still working on it a little bit. And then he goes, yesterday you said to me, well, I'll be the NCAA tournament. You be the NIT. That's what Mark told me. Well, that was, yeah. I was trying to put lipstick on the pig, but it is kind of yeah, so to only come up with 30. I, I could come up with 64. I'll do it tomorrow. I think we're going to we're gonna do Madness Madness, and we're going to do Final Four Friday. Okay. So April 5th, we're going to have four Final Fours that we decide on air by eating four soups, four sandwiches. Well, then I like right. that, yeah. Four candy um, bars and four beverages. And also, si- we do 64 team brackets around here. Yeah, I'll do 64. I did, 68. Uh, do a play. I did 65. Don't forget the soup in game pickle versus Sersnia. Or Sersnina. The soup in game. Who could forget? Soup in game. <laughs> we call it the Super Bowl. No, the Super Bowl is. N- I'm not going to use that. That's copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I, I would have liked to see you learn something while you did this bracket. You didn't really learn I anything. Did. Yeah, are you going to eat these soups? I think you have to eat the soup, You have to you have to play out the bracket on your own. I've had a few broccoli cheds in my day, so I don't need to try that. But there's other stuff I could try. There was that one that I actually thought looked kind of good, the goat meat pepper. You have a guy on the couch either. that will will lead you. Yeah. And will, it, whatever soup you want, he'll yeah. he'll he, he's willingly. He calls happy. himself the soup Nazi. Just <laughs> has nothing to do with soup. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I. You know what. Why do I need to take you under my wing? Why can't you do this for yourself, Blutman? Put yourself up. Every man has to discover their own way. You don't need a wing. The soup world. Well, I don't know. I just can't. I don't know. You went your, on your own soup journey, right? I did. I had to I had to make my own way. I didn't have a role model to look after me. I, I just, I forged ahead. Yeah. I was like Robin Williams in that movie where, doesn't he have to like go through hell to get to his dead wife that he probably killed? Flubber. I think I'm mixing. Yeah, Flubber. Flubber. <laughs> that movie sucked. <laughs> if you're going through hell. Keep on going. Don't slow down. Because you're almost at heaven? No, it's... Uh, that doesn't... No. The premise doesn't make going sense. Going through hell. Keep on going. Don't stop. Yeah. Get going. You might get out for the devil even knows you're there. Rodney Atkins. Okay. Oh, it's an old Irish saying. That may you... May you, uh, may you 
get to spend 10 minutes in heaven before the devil knows you're dead. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. I probably butchered it. All right, well, I just wanted to come in here and berate Blutton for a second because I was just... Yeah. What's the best 90s country song by a woman? Uh, Independence Day by Martina McBride. Yeah. I don't think that's her best. I like Broken no. Wing better. She looked all right, but dawn's early light. Though she looked a little worried. Wild Angels is pretty good, too. Martina was cooking. I had to pretend cooking. he wasn't drinking again. Well, Daddy left, left the, the proof, proof on her cheek. cheek. The chili soup. I was only eight years old that summer. I always seemed to be in the way. I took myself down to the fair in town on Independence Day. Let freedom. Oh, you dumb bitch. Dude, nice a, a, broken, a, a broken wing's good, too. Yeah. Broken wing. She still wins. Although she kind of ran back the same premise. Must have been what? Lori Morgan had some bangers, didn't she? Oh. Who's saying maybe it was Memphis because that one's good? Maybe it was Memphis. Um, Mel Tillis' is kid. Maybe it was some, some, uh, uh, Maybe it was you. Maybe is that the greatest love story ever told about Memphis? So walking in Memphis is not a love story, right? No, he just put on. He's just chilling. Yeah, yeah, and then he lies to her and he, he pretends to be Christian. Yeah, that's right. He lies to the old lady. It's actually oh, yeah, pretty. Always, always that's pretty rapey. Hmm. <laughs> that's pretty. Is, it, can I, is that one of those words I'm not allowed to say on this? No, I just. Although he does say, "Ma'am, I am tonight." He doesn't imply that he he is one forever. I think he's pretending to be one so that he can sleep lying, with her. Lying to a woman is pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a pick. Is uh, chili a soup? TJ was asking. To Chat ask was asking. You. Chat was asking. Soup? Ask TJ to ask you, the which I asked you. Are, are, chili it's like is me. Am I you in this? No, There's a you. spectrum of thickness. Yeah. At what point does something stop being a soup? Chowder, bis. It wasn't on the Wikipedia. Chili. So is a coney? Yeah. Is a coney dog a soup? Yes. Mm. Hot dog is a taco. Cereal is a soup. Taco. Cereal is definitely a soup. The ocean is Where's kind of a soup. For me? The ocean The ocean soup. Is a soup. Fish yeah. soup. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's fish it's soup. Is it based off of the size of the bowl or the size of the spoon? It might have something to do with the spoon, the actually. Not I, being cooked. Did you have, uh, have, you, have, you, uh, have you seen Hal Thornburg recently? <laughs> um, yes, yeah. I have. So I think that I think a soup like chili is a, chili's chili. I'm gashing. Right? Gumbo's gumbo. I don't yeah, think either gumbo one. Bracket, though. I know, I, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with. I'm done being a soup Nazi about that sort of thing. Where Gumbo's can... closer to soup than chili. Chili's yes. more of a standalone than gumbo. Yes, agreed. But uh, yeah, I think bisques. Those are soups. I, I, I didn't. Was that a debate? He, he asked me about bisques. Bisques is certainly a soup. I love them. Well, are there people out there who say bisques are not soup? Because Probably it's the not lobster soup. Wow. Probably the French. You ever had shakshuka? No, Shakshuka, but, yes, oh. I have. The uh, the egg, like, tomato, that's really good. Super good. It's a very underrated. I feel like it hasn't gotten its way, like, totally into the mainstream yeah. yet. So yeah, buy good. stock now in Shakshuka. It's like an old world food. Yeah, buy stock what? now. That's going well. How, how do you spell this? S-H-A-A-S-H-A-C-E. I mean, if we don't have the name, it's never going anywhere. A-C-E. Oh, trust me, Brandon. Shakshuka's Shak- not going anywhere. Once, Shakshuka. Once the white girls get a hold of it for brunch, oh, my this God. thing's going to the moon. It's basi- Brandon, you would fuck with it. What it's basically it? a thick tomato sauce that they poach eggs in. I'm going to look at Shakshuka now. It's delicious. It's like a Mesopotamian food. Ooh. Really? What's in this thing? There it is. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. but what's in it? Oh, that's all. That's, those are good. It's like uh, it's tomatoes. Almost looks egg. like a deep dish pizza. It's just it's like liquid. I think there's some lemon juice in there, maybe. Shakshuka. Tomatoes, olive oil, peppers, onion, garlic, cumin, paprika, cayenne pepper. About twenty-eight to fourteen, with about three forty left for those of you tuning into the main event here. Yeah, I guess I could eat that. Yeah, and we've lost sight of yeah, what really matters. Which is, well, yeah, Brandon's football. book. Get back to reading. Brandon, are you okay? Yeah, why? Is that score real? I'm not playing. Oh, yeah. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just beating the fuck out of Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brandon was reading a book. I was reading where yeah. the red fern grows. If you want me to get back to it, I will. No, that's all right. You a big reader, Brandon? Yeah. Voracious reader. Took Tommy to pick out a book yesterday. Picked out a giant uh, dinosaurs book. Oh, that rocks! Has he is he old enough to start reading like the uh, the Redwall books? Yeah, he is. Redwall books. Were and great. I wanted him to pick out like some educational books and all this stuff and everything. And he just 
You know, it's one thing if you take a six-year-old to and he picks out dinosaurs. Tommy's 13. <laughs> yeah. I think he's just going to be a dinosaur guy. A yeah, he might be. Yeah. Billy still does that, so that's a fine role model for him. Dinosaurs rock. Yeah. Dinosaur, being into dinosaurs. Is He's my son, but I, I can say this. I think Tommy might be on a Billy trajectory. Oh, no. Oh, you don't want that. I'm just saying. You don't want that. Size-wise, probably going to be about the same. Yeah. Well, one day he might be a congressman then. <laughs> Billy might actually win. Because he made a campaign promise on uh, on Monday's macrodosing that if he if he got elected he would quit the podcast, <laughs> and I think that's really going to drive voter turnout. That's going to yeah, a lot of people. Are <laughs> yeah. Gonna... The other day at um <laughs> at dinner, Tommy started talking in an African accent. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, daddy, <laughs> <laughs> the book on dinosaurs, daddy. This food is delicious. <laughs> You want three quarterback sneaks? Is that what you want? No, <laughs> no I don't. You want, you want no, three QB sneaks? No, what do you I want? want a fade, jump ball fade. A fade? Good talk, guys. Yep. Thank right, you for you. talking soup. The bracket needs improvement, but. Well, the bracket is over and we'll find the winner. Is the bracket over? Oh, I'm sorry. Also, no, it's not. I didn't. I meant like the bracket's final. You got like, you No changes. Clean house. Well, <laughs> what was that big statement you were about to make? <laughs> that much like the 2024 NCAA tournament field. This bracket has a lot of similarities. It's kind of gross. It's not good. It's almost like it was intentional. Wait, this oh, is, it was it was deep irony. You're comparing it to your bracket? Yeah, yeah it's deep irony. Thank oh, you. you were trying to reflect there real life. There were plenty of seedings that got you guys like, whoa, what is going on here? There were two chestnuts. Yeah. Much like St. Francis, Brooklyn and St. Francis, uh, Pennsylvania, the Terriers and the Red Flash, Chestnut USA, Chestnut World. Neither one of those is in the actual NCAA tournament this year. Yeah, but I could do what I want with the soup bracket, and I wanted them in. The rest of it was to resemble the awful bracket yeah. we got this so year. So who's UConn? Uh, I don't know, Ramen? French Onion, I guess. Well, French Onion, guys. Max picked Kakaliki to beat French Onion. He just says it's a better soup straight up. Oh, that's the other thing is Max. You know Max eats turtle soup? Mm -hmm. Apparently, it's a Philadelphia thing. Three people in here have eaten turtle soup. They eat turtles. Snapper soup, they call them. I know food. Dwight Schrute gave uh, Jim and Pam I've watched a the turtle opera. boiling pot for their wedding present. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's disgusting. I've right. watched Parks and Rec too, Brandon. Yeah? Yep. I did too? Yep. I'm just thinking of things I've watched. Who's your favorite? Uh... Don't know without to rewatch. Um, I don't like doing the office. Thing. Office and Parks and Rec. Oh, you a, if you uh, had a character draft right now, who's one one? Uh, both of them. It's easy. Is it easy? It's very easy. Yeah, I think I it is. Yours. Yeah, it's it's got to be it's got to be Michael Scott in the early seasons. Well, I I go Ron Swanson. I think. You think? Yeah, Ron. I think I go Ron Swanson. Good. I think. I mean. Michael Scott was was the best for the first like seven seasons of The Office. That was know. all the seasons that he was there. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, didn't they take him out in like season eight? Oh, season middle he, season he, seven. He came back for the end. The f yeah. They they kind of nerfed him at the end. They made yeah. Him, they made him soft and like heartwarming. Yeah. I didn't like that. The point is favorites. Uh, I appreciate the whole thing. How about that? You didn't watch him, did you? Yes, I did multiple times each. Finish this last name. Give me the last name to this character. What? Andy. Why? Donna. I don't remember her last name. Tom. Haverford. Creed. I like that. Braddon. I like Tom. Mm -hmm. All right. Stanley. He, I think he's doing I don't a good remember job. his last name. Isn't Stanley just Stanley? He doesn't remember any of the black people's I last names. <laughs> what? I noticed that as well. <laughs> I noticed that as well. Stanley Hudson. Oh, that's right. Oh. And uh, Donna Meagle? I, I'm not sure about that one. Because I've been watching West Wing, too, and they got a Donna, but that's Donna Moss. Yeah. I've uh, I've noticed that. Never seen West Wing. Next time you guys listen to Nikki Smokes talk, he talks exactly like Tom Haverford. Really? Like, oh. like the words, the style of words that he uses. Yeah. He talks uh, like 
What's up, Jim Like Drake Dodd? talked in 2007? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, no, he does. Exactly. Check it out next time. Oh, <laughs> no, you've ruined Nikki. it. For... Don't tell Nikki I said that. I, oh. I, I noticed it one time. Now I have to spread it to you guys and ruin oh, it. Too. That's brutal. Uh, I won't repeat it, but. He's the worst. I have, a, I have a question for you, Liam. And you know I like you, right? Yeah. I like Blubman. Thank you. Um, are you familiar with Yuppie? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. Can we get some curious. visual aid? Just curious. Are, are you curious? Let's show, let's show uh, Blutman Yuppie. Yuppie's brother. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. Wow, There's that's Yuppie. Yuppie. Oh, he wears uh, a Canadian TJ. shirt. Yeah, but he wears a red one, though. Oh. Yeah, I know. We I couldn't get the red one because it'd be way too much for me. It's too much red orange. He also <laughs> I I like one. his number is just exclamation point. Yes, oh, that rocks. Uh, have you seen Yuppie's new brother? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. What's his name? That guy on the right. Uh, I forget his name. Oh, Metal. Hmm. That's like the, that's like the Johnny Cakes version. I'm up ten with 51 seconds. I was uh, at a uh, Canadian's once. Like I took here. a picture of Yuppie in another section. I, oh, that, that's bad, brother. That's bad. <laughs> that's they bad. Recovered. They All right. recovered. I gotta run, guys. See ya. Okay. Thanks for letting me crash. Family. Uh, family. 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 Starting to get family. a little dicey. Family. The field goal is pretty key. That's why I, don't I kicked think it. This, this is dicey at all. I think you've got this in the bag. Thank you, Blut. Yep. Your defense has been good all game. Blutman, what gets you fired up? What gets you? What gets you? What gets you going? What gets you passionate about something? What gets you yelling? Fired up like mad or like okay. fired up like happy? Uh, Joe Lunardi's tweets last night had mm. me steaming. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, no, for that moron to go out there tweeting like <laughs> like he has any care about the NCAA tournament when, he, when he's made clear and adamant he's miserable and wants to be golfing and now he's slandering Virginia. He was advocating for them to get in the tournament, it felt like. He had yeah, him he in was. the last yeah. four in, right? Yeah, he yeah. No, he had him. He had them first four out, and he had Indiana State third and Virginia second and first four out. Then he was talking about how Indiana State needed to be in the tournament and not Virginia. Hey, I, I hate the guy I always have. After I was talking about him on Sunday or Saturday, whatever, uh, Mr. Markey called me and said, you've been arguing, you've been going to war with Lunardi since middle school. You were always right. <laughs> Who called you? Markey. Oh, your dad? Yeah. You call him Markey. Yeah, we went over this last week. Yeah, that was confusing. Marky. Uh, he, he went over it, but I still. It's still my brother, uh, Lukey. Uh, they call you Liam? Mom, mother. No, they call me. Uh, ooh, what do they call me? Liam? Whatman. <laughs> Whatman, yeah. Liam, <laughs> Whatman. Uh, the last name treatment. <laughs> and his own family. Yeah, his own family. <laughs> his, own, uh, his own family members. Well, all, my cousins, I, I put cousin before their name. My uncle, I put uncle before their name. Big play here. Thing. I feel like if I get a stop here, I win the game. Everybody puts uncle before their uncle's name. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, cousin, I haven't heard that. Yeah, cousin Alex. Cousin Jacob. Oh, that's a touchdown. All right, five seconds left. I'm up three. Uh, a lot of people saying you're shaving. A lot of people, you were four and a half point favorites. Yeah. Yeah, so. There's an investigation being launched. Good. I won, right? They can't. They don't have enough time to recover an onside kick and <laughs> throw a hail mary. No, they definitely have time to do that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but they would never recover an onside kick. Not two in a row, certainly. There's no way they're recovering two onside kicks in a row, right? Uh, uh, just to tell you right now, on Twitter, this game is drunk. This game, yeah. That's, <laughs> that, that is being tweeted Get right to now. ESPN two yeah. now. Uh. I'm already on ESPN two, bro. What, what are you doing? Running the clock Take the out, safety. Dude. Take the safety. Take the safety. Run the clock out. It would have been fun if you took the safety, though. I uh, Why would that have been fun? Just just, just a little zany play. Oh, to, to win by just one? Yeah. I'm a big proponent of taking intentional safeties to ice a game that way. Yeah. Just like when, when, when you're in a circumstance where you're trying to uh, run clock. I don't think teams do enough, so whatever. CJ, shut it down. That's it. Another W for me. Thanks to everybody watching. See you tomorrow. Yep. Brandon read three pages of that book. Uh, I don't know. Well, you gave up on the book. 
I'm, I do it. I do it a lot. Really? That was the first time I've seen it. Wow. Wow! I can't wait for the next one. Working to the level of precision that's needed to be risen to the top. Do you have it? it takes a... They've come from all over the world with one goal a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question.